the way. How's it going, guys? <laughs> no, let's not start that. Hey, I hope you didn't. By the way, there's a, there's a, another part of that quote. Kenny just emailed me. It's uh-huh. O&A all the way. That's what I say. That's what I say. <laughs> Go USA. And then you throw in Haywood Nelson. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I, I hope I still get my pay. <laughs> All right. So just, what do you got, Flop Sweat? I was just going to say, I give it six months before you guys are enemies with uh, 204 over there. <laughs> <laughs> you think it will be lobbing shells over the border? It all starts nice with a phone call, I got to tell you. There's actually a oh, phone call oh. that exists of of Anthony and I Thank talking you. nice to Don and Mike, and then that turned ugly. Ooh. So you might yeah, be onto something, yeah. Flop Sweat. I was actually, yeah, but, but I love you guys, so keep, keep up the good work. All right, thank you. We're Ooh. trying to talk about the bad boy of figure skating here. Thank you. This is our Olympic coverage, by the way. Our Olympic coverage break. Aww. I was actually hoping there'd be chocolate in here. What a fat so I am. It's very sweet. It's a heart. It says I love you, yes. and a receipt too. All right, how much do we owe you, Francine? It's, uh, yes. Little, uh... What am I supposed heart, to do with this? Pillow type thing. You got a boxer, too. And then there's, um... Mm. Boxers. Woven cotton boxers with hearts on them. Yes. And a little mm. underwear hanger. Ooh. Do people have <laughs> a little underwear closet that they hang it up? Who are these people? Oh, it comes with a gift receipt? Awesome. Thank you. How? Oh, what, what do you mean, Op? <laughs> I hate it. You don't hate oh. it. What? Oh, those are look really comfy. Boxers. Don't they look great? Oh, My- they look fantastic. I will walk around the house in these. Mine are red. Thank you. Oh, look at these. Do you know how and- delicious <laughs> my hog is going to look in these? Wow. What yeah. intern needs money? Nathaniel, you need money? What? Man's doing fine. Who needs money? Uh, where's Tim? Balloons! <laughs> we have balloons! I figured they'd be better than chocolates. Here's Tim. Yes. He's our intern. He lives in his car. He has a family. He comes from Springfield every day. It's three hours each way, right, Tim? Yeah, that's he about com- the story here. He commutes from Springfield, Mass. Really? Massachusetts every day. <laughs> That's why I wasn't afraid of that uh, bottle of pee. It's, you Here know, you, you live in your car. You oh. you get my my special gift. Oh. Do you actually live oh. in your car? Oh, baby. Oh, week, that's yeah. terrible. Like, oh. During the week? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, you, but you drive to Springfield. Well, I, that's where I live on the way. Oh, well, yeah. Up already. And yes. he showed up yesterday because no one told him we were off. You have a home in Springfield? Yes. Oh, okay. You drove here yesterday? Yeah. You don't remember this dope. guy? He, he comes from Springfield every day. Like, I remember any of these He's people. It's three hours each way. Here, here's Dude, the... Dude, this is cannon fodder. Here's... That's what the fucking interns are to me. Cannon fodder. Here's the gift receipt. You could get, what, $15, $17? 14 yep. Well, actually, something like that. Ooh, I like my balloon because I can do this. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Tim, that's free money. All you have to do is find an express and you get... Some guests. No! <laughs> you broke it. No! Thank you, Francine. You're welcome, Opie. Gee, Opie, you gave away. Uh... Can I see the balloon? I hope you don't take no. a long time to pick <laughs> out these gifts. I want to play know. like that. That's fun. You're gonna, you're gonna I hurt got... my balloon. No. Let me... I want to play. I want to, I want to bang. I used to, I used to be a drummer. Please. Okay. Right. I love my balloon. Oh. Oh. No! Opie. Don't pop my balloon! Opie! No! <laughs> there you go. No! <laughs> Do you understand? That was, that was, me and Ash can hold him up. Look, this is Lance Armstrong before and after. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's, let's get back into some radio here. Thank you, Francine. Hang you're, out, though. You're, you're welcome. Or, ha uh, hold him again. What? Betty Ford. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, let's do Olivia Newton John. <laughs> I wanna get animal. Do oh. ya? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, listen. I should have got a physical <laughs> physical. I should have got a physical. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, uh, looking at the one that's left. I'm hopelessly devoted <laughs> to you. Oh How do you even know that song? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sandy, what happened? Sandy. Why is the tissue in this one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Francine, you have a crush on a staff member? Uh, 
Ben and I were talking, and he keeps teasing me about how I have a crush on Earl. Ew. And I, Ew. Huh? I know. <laughs> but he's a, so, I mean, go ahead. do you really like Earl? No, I don't. So I told him back in NEW, I had a really big crush on Steve. Ew. Steve. Yeah. Ooh, big bear. Get Steve in here. Ooh. Wow. Grr. Yeah. Grr. <laughs> no, 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 no. It just... You had a crush on Steve? Yeah. Steve. Was that before or after you stole the hat from the mountain climber in The Price is Right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Steve. What? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. No, 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 no. Here comes Steve. no, 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 no. Really I is love the Steve music. <laughs> That's right. Grr. It is That's right. not, Steve. <laughs> yeah. Francine had a crush at you at the old place. Really? <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm flattered. Thank you, Francine. Could've wait, gotten wait. her when she was jail bait. Wait, wait. Was this was this was this pre stomach stapling four hundred pound me? Or? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you like the big guys? Yeah, well, really? I don't Oof. mind. Yeah. I'm really Whoa. small, so big guy. As long as he's not, you know, the big F word, fat. Right. Care. Well, I you was. Know, the big <laughs> well, husky was. Guy. I was. I was a despicable <laughs> fat guy. No, you weren't. <laughs> he was a fat so. Yeah, yeah I was, really was. He was fat. Yeah. Back in the W. Yeah, he was yeah. a little fat. Yeah, we've seen. I pictures. didn't think he was fat. Mm. Well, I thought Steve was okay. Wow. wow. And what was it about Steve? Ooh. His size. What else? Steve looked at me once. I, that's all it takes. I, huh? Eye contact. Wow. wow. Yeah, and I got that <laughs> feeling. Ah, mm -hmm. a little, little damp. Yeah. Ooh, a little mushy. A little bit, a little mushy. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, and I thought, I, I thought maybe he winked or something, so. Something Ooh. about your eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good looking, what's cooking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly he how it's articulated. <laughs> <laughs> he winked. Did you get like a little damp? Like, did, it, did the underwear kind of go up in? Like when you ride a bike, the way your underwear rides up in your crack? Mm. Yeah, I did, Ooh, actually. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. And you thought maybe, did you fantasize about Steve? Of course I did. You? You did? Yeah. Let's we did, had you sex. Ever, did you ever masturbate thinking of Steve? Maybe. Oh. <laughs> Home alone in bed, a little lonely, and then wow. the hand wanders, and you got to come up with a fantasy. And yeah. Steve ever pop in there and help you out? Of course he did. Excuse me, let me help. <laughs> <laughs> Let me dig in here for some honey. Yeah. <laughs> Get to the old honey pot. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a revelation. Really? We're doing revelations on the show today. Yeah, walk us, through, uh, walk us through one of these dreams. That's Steve back at NEW. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you're Holy right. Holy fat fuck. He wasn't yeah. fat. He actually has the tattoo of the flag on his arm. It's the fucking one they used to hang on the Verrazano. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There comes the suicidal urge for the day. Oh, my God. You oh, forget. No, Steve, you, you don't forget like how that, big though. you used to be. No, I don't ever. Jesus. Holy crap. Wow. You were a problem. Yeah, I yeah. really was. Holy that, shit. Oh, that's unbelievable. Anyway, Look Francine. Look at your gut. I know. It's awful. No. Dude, you should, it's awful now. No, it's, no, it's not, Steve. No, no, no. The empty, the empty gut that I'm constantly working out to get rid of. So, Francine, what was your fantasy about Steve? Yeah. Yeah, how would that play out? Because I know you girls don't just, like, pop the image in your head and get ripping. Like, there's got to be a storyline to it. <laughs> so, what, you you were up at the station, maybe uh, after the show, was there a, uh, a little get-together? You saw him outside the building. What 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 happened? What's the scenario? Well, the scenario would be um, I would uh, stay a little bit late, mm -hmm. you know, trying to help out with the crew after work. Yeah. And then uh, Steve would be the only one left. So it'd just be me and Steve. This is a fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I go to the recording studio where Steve is. Yeah. And I knock on the window. <laughs> knock on the window. Oh, wait. I'm busy. <laughs> I'm making a Ramon promo. <laughs> Not any W. No. No, Ramon didn't exist then. So uh, you knock and Steve lets you in. Yeah. And uh, what happens? We work a little bit later. And I'd help Steve with some oh, so, work. So there's some no, hello. <laughs> so there's some little things like, uh, could you grab me that cart over there, and <laughs> and uh, oh, could you bulk this for me, and, yeah. and things like that. And yeah. and you're just kind of do, doing a little busy work, helping Steve out. Yeah. And during that time, uh, what are you talking about? Um, stuff. Just, but but it's got to be stuff that kind of lets him know that this is a little more than just working, helping out. No, we wouldn't talk about it. 
Nothing. No. no. Strictly work. Yeah. He's just like writing code that makes video even more impossible to find. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not going to get any email about that tonight. Thank you. And, the, and then we eat, <laughs> we eat Chinese. It should be called lostlymusic.com. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Wow. See, instead of found. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and I fucked up the... Oh, oh my God. God. But let me... Hold on. I'm not done. 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 Oh, Jesus. You get a real Corolla crash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lost work. Stinker. <laughs> So, lost comedy. Would Steve have sex with you? Of course wait, he would. Wait. Now, how do wait, wait, you go right to wait. the sex. They're yeah. still working. Hold on, stud. <laughs> For how God's sake. Day. Who cares about the... Yeah, uh, how so, do you migrate from work conversation to intercourse? So is work done? At some point you finish up and, and you yeah. leave the studio? No, we're not going to leave the studio. All right, how does it go from helping out to having some uh, sex? Well, we're both going to say we're really, really tired and we should go. All right. It's like, oh, I'm tired. Been working all day. And you yeah. go, yeah, yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, and after eating Chinese, too. Wait. Chinese does that. They Chinese showed her Chinese a few minutes ago. Oh, I missed that. It's kind of like fucking Jungle Fever, Wesley Snipes and Annabella, whatever the fuck her last name is. Yeah. That's how you two are. Yeah. Like, so, so then... Uh, so then so then things we get a little heated and steamy. But how does it get heated? You go, you're tired. Where, yeah, where's the move? the move? There's a move. The move. There's the move that takes it from you're working in the studio, could be anybody just working in the studio. There's a line that crosses to now. To get heated and steamy. To so now my penis look. is in your snatch. What happened? So he gives you a look. <laughs> the look again. And the look isn't help me out with this uh, piece of uh, tape or yeah. get me this or something. It's like, hey. It's the I want you look. Oh, Steve, can I see that look? Wait, wait. It was me giving it or you giving it? No, you gave it. You her. gave it to her. The look yeah. you give was Wow, she... Steve just gave the look. <laughs> That's the look. Oh, right? my God. I thought that was, I have to go to the bathroom. Yes. Yeah, it might have been. Most people interpret that as you being retarded. But she, <laughs> she picked it, was, it, it up. It was sexy. I want you. I want you, Steve. All right, so he gives you the look. Sure. And then yeah. And the look is just, you know, the eyes down a little bit. Look. Yeah. Maybe, Squint. Maybe a little pouting. Does he uh, does he come over to you now? Yeah. So he walks over to you, and you know now what's coming. Mm -hmm. A mauling. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, he he walks over to you. Yeah. And what is the first romantic thing that happens? First thing. Does he put a ring through his nose and then dance for you? No, he'll give me a little massage on my back or something. You, with his muzzle on, knocks you off the chair so his trainer has to pull that rope. <laughs> love that clip. I love being here. I hated Romania. <laughs> <laughs> he rides a unicycle. <laughs> You talk about how your people have been treated badly. He talks about how his people have been treated badly in circuses. <laughs> you two kind of bond on that, and he gives you the pouty look, that stupid look. Gives you the look, walks over. What's the first thing? He'll give me a little neck massage. Oh, so a little neck massage. You've been helping out. You're a little tired. Yeah. Yeah, so a little neck massage. And you... During this massage, maybe you let out a couple of groans of pleasure because yeah. it feels good. A neck massage feels good. Mm -hmm. What would that sound like? Mm -hmm. you... What? <coughs> mm. Mm. That's oh. it. A little more. Okay, you're getting more of a massage. Just yeah. shut your eyes and make believe and make those sounds. Yeah. You're getting massage. Mm, Steve, that feels good. All right. Ooh, Steve, that feels good. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then uh, what? What? how does that turn into a little more? A little massage. So he's behind you right now. Yeah. Uh-oh. So then he'll go down a little bit lower. So now he's massaging your lower back? Your lumbar? Yeah. Your lumbar. <laughs> Let me get the You know, the lumbar is the most neglected <laughs> part of the massage. Fucking nervous idiot he is with all those awful death rings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those must feel good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I waxed my knuckles this morning. <laughs> So he's, he's massaging your lower back, mm -hmm. and this feels better. This feels really good. And now uh, it feels like now it's not just the massage. Now maybe you're getting a little turned on because you kind of it's getting closer to areas. Yeah. You know. So now how does that sound? You, now he starts massaging you. Shut your eyes and a little now a little pleasure. Hmm. All right, that's a little more. It sounds right. a little sexier. So, so then he'll. He'll he'll lift the shirt a little bit. Like oh, because that was over the shirt. Now yeah. the oh. shirt lifts up a little. Ooh. What are you wearing during this? What's on your top, your bottom, everything? What are you wearing? Uh, shorts Ooh, and a t-shirt. 
a T-shirt. Uh, you have a bra on? Yeah. You have your bra on. And what type of panties are you wearing under your shorts? Um, Probably a little thong. A little thong. And is it peeking out a little over the top of the shorts? Yeah. A little nasty, little dirty girl showing your undies. So he's massaging, and uh, he lifts your T-shirt up and goes underneath your T-shirt. Yeah. Now he's massaging your, your back. Yeah. And Those meaty alabaster fingers. Oh, <laughs> just going at it. Lebanese fingers just kneading away like it's dough. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what what happens next? Well, then he'll go up a little bit. Oh, now he's going now back, back up, up. Back up. Back up, but still All on right, your back. We get it. You got a massage going. Yeah. 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 All right, Let's get All right the but, move. but but the I'm kind of I'm kind of the... seeing where this move is going. It's going he for go, the bra. Step. Right. He goes <laughs> up. Now he's under the shirt. Go. Now the bra comes off. Yeah. So he unsnaps the bra. You show no resistance to this at all, so he knows now it's not just a massage. I'll show a little bit. What do you do? It's called the oopsie. Oops. <laughs> do you play oopsie with him? Like, oopsie. Do you have a front uh, snap or back little, little, uh, bra? It's going to be back snap. It's going to be back. So he unsnaps him. What do, what do you do? You go kind of like, Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, we're here. This is all taking place no. in the workplace as well? Yeah. yeah. This, this is Oof. on the, uh, yeah. That's Way to make right. it sexy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the console sexy. Does Jeremy Coleman peer in and go, ugh? <laughs> yeah, or go, I thought it was my massage time, Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> 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 all right. So uh, uh, you, you just go kind of like, oh, Steve. Yeah. And but but uh, do do you do the thing where you put your hand on your breasts to kind of hold the bra from falling, like oh, Steve? Or does he say that it's just to make it easier for the massage? Yeah. 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 There you go. That do his better. big claws rip the bra, <laughs> or does he gently unbutton it? <laughs> no. <Grr. laughs> Belly warmer. <laughs> And here he is when he uh, thinks she's protesting. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just, it's coming. No, 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 no. I was. <laughs> All right. Now, no more hard to get. No. So what What are you doing? What well, happened? I have to show a little bit of resistance because I like to play the resistance uh -huh. game. Uh-huh. Pepper spray. No? <laughs> play Massa. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. Does he have on a white wig and high stockings <laughs> and black shoes? No. <laughs> All right. I've taken you out of the plantation today for just this occasion. <laughs> oh, President Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, he does that, and uh, you show a little resistance by doing what? What do you do? Um, I'll probably just say no. Verbal? Yeah, let's you hear the no, though. You can, yeah. It's happening. How it's is happening. the no? Get into the role. I'll say no, Steve. I don't think we should. I don't think we should. Now, this means... She doesn't think we should, but she didn't say she doesn't want to. Of course. Right. What does Steve I don't do? Think we should. Steve's just going to continue. Yeah. Ooh, real man. Of Steve course. keeps going. <laughs> All right, Steve. That's You're welcome. good. Still Steve's doing good a good so job. Yeah. All uh, right. What's the next move he makes? <laughs> well, now that your Steve, bra is undone, Steve's going to push aside the chair because I would have been sitting on a chair during this time. Uh huh. And he's going to come behind me and he's going to have his package on my butt. Oh, so now you're standing, or is he just... Yeah. Okay, you're standing. So now, so now I'm just, you know. So you're feeling all of his manhood against your butt. Yeah. And you can tell he's uh, he's turned on. Yeah. Yeah. I've had that happen to me when I'm doing spots in the studio. Yeah. He comes is, up behind me. Let me show you how this is red. Steve. It's like he's, it's like he's teaching you to play tennis. He reaches around and grabs your arm. Teaches you the latest golf swing. <laughs> is he packing? Steve's packing. Ah, mm -hmm. so you feel no, his, I know this is a fantasy. You feel his <laughs> turgid pole right. pressed against your ebony cheeks. Then what? Yes. When does he hit you over the head with a frying pan? <laughs> yeah. When does he just get angry and you realize he hates women? <laughs> 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 tries to get noises out of you for his his oh. next promo. <laughs> yeah. When now, does that happen? When he, he clumsy clumsily fumbles with your buttons and they don't come off, <laughs> so he smothers your face into the <laughs> into the buttons. <laughs> He goes, can you do that again? I, I, the levels were fucked up. <laughs> just hear various audio cueing yeah. here and there all willy-nilly as he pushes her face across the buttons he's, on the console. He's just screaming, no is not an option with his big fingers in your mouth so you can't holler for help. <laughs> <laughs> the studio is soundproof, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's like watching a silent film. <laughs> your arms are flailing. <laughs> <laughs> so now he's behind you. Package is uh, against your butt, but you're you're still clothed. 
your bra is unclipped. He's got his hands kind of on your back, but I'm guessing if he's right against you, now they're starting to venture a little t- around your hips and your side. Yep. Uh, and uh, He's going to start unbuttoning my pants now. Now you're, he's Ooh. going for the unbuckle for of the pants. For the shorts. Yeah, nice. uh, yeah, yeah. Nice, your shorts. little shorts. Yeah. How short are they? Very short. Very short. Short shorts. Yeah, short We've shorts. We've seen the short shorts. Short shorts. Yeah. Short shorts. Yeah. She wears the shortest. Yeah. So yeah. She, she's got the, uh, the short shorts on. Howie from New York City wants in real fast. Howie! When does he smell her, and she smells like fish, and then he bites down on her? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the old salmon <laughs> swimming upstream. All right, where just are wants we? wants to spawn. Let's get back into this. Where are we? Uh, Steve is unbuckling the pants. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do? I let him unbuckle it. You, now you're not really arguing. Now, your hand's just at your side like a soldier at attention, or what are you doing now? He's close behind you. Where are your hands? On the countertop. On the countertop. Yeah. Are you slightly bent over a little bit? Yeah. All right. And he's unbuckling your shorts. He unbuckles them. I could just imagine. But what what happens? Continue. What's he saying? He's saying, you have a very lovely ass. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice, Steve. Did you say that, Steve? I'd like to hear it. Come on. You have a very lovely ass, Francie. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. <laughs> that stupid <laughs> smile. What a creep. What a cordial rape this is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like to be polite up until yeah. this. Yeah, he sends out an invite. Ass. We don't know when it's going to end. I'm going to dump bleach on your vagina. <laughs> DNA after this. <laughs> we have uh, Jimmy Johnson calling in, so we got to move this along. we got about five, six minutes. So Jesus. So, so what happens? So your pants are down? Mm-hmm. Now he pulls the pants down. You're wearing your thong. Yeah. Uh, now, now what happens? Keep it go. Keep it rolling now. Well, see, Steve's not going to take off the thong because that'll be too easy. And he's a He'll queer. Just... <laughs> <laughs> he's not a queer. Of course not. Look how far he's getting. Yeah, Steve got All really right. far. So your your uh, shorts are around your ankles. Mm-hmm. Your thong right there. <clears throat> your yep. beautiful ebony behind is uh, showing yep. out of the uh, thong. And what happens? So he'll just slip his fingers through the thong. Kind of underneath. Uh, yeah. Little underneath from oh, behind. Look at that. It's getting all excited. That's Just nice. About it. Now we're right. on the front Good or the move, back. Steve. You're from the back. Oh, he's tickling the bunghole. Yeah. All nice. clumsy like Herman Munster. <laughs> 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 Grandpa. Take her into the lab. You're going to fuck a hymen? <laughs> <laughs> so he's uh, getting you a little aroused that way. Now uh, let's get to the action here. How does he actually make the, uh, the final uh, move? Well, he'll he'll put it in. So he unbuckles his own pants, or do you reach around? What happens? Um, yeah, he'll unbuckle his own pants. He unbuckles because he feels you're ready to accept. Yeah. And uh, he, what does he pull the thong aside, or does he rip the thong down? No, he just leaves it. You can still have sex with panties on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but but you got to kind of you know pull it aside a little. Yeah. With, okay, so he pulls it aside, mm-hmm. and then uh. Puts it. Is he rough or is he uh, gentle with putting it in? He's gentle. He's very gentle. Oh, of course, oh, of course he is. Right. Not like gentle that, Ben. Not like that horse. <laughs> that video with that guy, right? Yeah. Feels a little and then uh, drives it home. Yeah. No, very gentle. And uh, <laughs> wow, that's some scene. And he gives you a good ride. Yeah. Where does he finish? <sighs> oh, yeah, he can't finish like inside it? you. Oh, that's yes, he can. Dangerous. Yeah. It's dangerous. You might Fill get pregnant. Steve. Oh, yeah. Bring another conglomerated <laughs> malata <laughs> mongrel bear into this world. Nate in Brooklyn. Nate? Hey, guys. Hey. Yeah, I wanted to know, if part of the fantasy is that he gives her oral, does he get stuck in there and need Tigger and Piglet to help get him out? <laughs> That's Take it easy. I'm trapped in the vagina. Could you please get me out, Tigger? You want to bang Steve now? Or is this fantasy over? Well, that was back then, you guys. Oh, no, I she's still, moved on. You're I not into him anymore? I still like Steve, but I... But he lost too much weight for you. Yeah. All right. Do you want to see him nude with a little red half shirt on? I Sitting under a tree? Protest. That would be nice. Oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> oh, <no>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. That was um, good. Grr. All right. Can we hear the orgasm you had? Come on, I'm filling up. Guys. What? Guys. <laughs> what? What happened? Like, what, what would you say? You'd have to talk to him while he was banging you. Yeah. You'd have to say something. What would yeah. you say? What would you say? Anything? What do you mean, what would I say? Fuck me, Steve. Oh, yeah, Steve. Oh, that part? Yeah, yeah. let's hear Any something. Dirty talk or... 
Okay, so still be inside me, mm-hmm. and he'll get a little rough right before the peak. Oh. Yeah, so I'll be like, "Yes, yeah, Steve, harder." Mm-hmm. You're a hack. Yeah. You're a Just you're like a sex that. hack. I'm not a sex <laughs> hack. I don't know, but I'm not too good on the sexy stuff. Yeah, you can't like fake Ooh. sexy talk. Like I can fake sexy talk if I'm having sex. I always fake it. Isn't that wow. funny? I could fake die if someone shoots me in the head. <laughs> you said you could fake sexy talk if you're having sex. Yeah, but I'm not having sex right now, so I don't know how to fake it. Well, mm-hmm. That's what we mean, like yeah. acting. Let's like, go to like... BCH. BCH. Silly Francine. Don't you know if you just play dead, he'll lose interest and go away? <laughs> that is the rumor. That's right. You're supposed to just lay there like you're dead. He'll sniff you a little. If Steve right. pulls over your shorts, just run downhill. <laughs> Anthony in New York. <laughs> Maybe they can't hey. run downhill. Hey. hey, what's going on? I wanted to know at what point does Steve get on his back and she goes, hey, he's such a good bear. He's such a good bear. <laughs> yeah, from the grizzly man. You're a good bear. Randy. Yo, uh, I think I heard if uh, Steve wants to go and have a day with her, she could steal a picnic basket for that first date. <laughs> <laughs> a picnic basket. <laughs> All right. Of well, it's a great fantasy. All right, we've got a break. Jimmy Johnson. Going to talk a little NASCAR next. Goddamn. A lot of controversy in the NASCAR world. Ooh. Ben, do you like my hairdo? <laughs> Wonderful. All right, we'll be back with Jimmy Johnson in just a bit. Just stupid. NBC Jet Kid Dead. Jet Kid Dead. But then it says underneath, body of Ebersol's son in wreckage. Like, that explains it. They just It's like, do you have to be a sensationalist scumbag publication yeah, all the time? That's really awful. It, 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 it's not like this guy's a... Sc- like, if you write something like that about Robert Chambers, some awful, yeah. you know, scumbag headline, because he's a piece of shit, but this was a well, 14-year-old the preppy, kid. preppy killer, I'm sure the Post came up with that one. Yeah, and I'm sure that's a good name for him. That's what he is. Preppy. Jew neck twister di- <laughs> yeah. arrested. Jew broad neck twister arrested on drug charge. <laughs> I remember when Lennon got shot, the post was so insensitive, the headline read, Chink Lover Eats Lead. <laughs> Holy shit. What is wrong? Well, that's what the post would write. I didn't say that. The post wrote it. I, I understand what he's going for there. That's what the post would write. They're insensitive. I didn't tell them when George Harrison passed away to have the headline read, Adios, Puddinhead. <laughs> <laughs> They couldn't fix the hole that the tumor get, came in. Shit. <laughs> yeah, now you got me doing it. See how much that hurts? <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. That's just a very tasteless way well, to Well, the Post is known for their headlines, sure. They really are there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I got I to pull my nose. <laughs> I wish that guy was here to eat it. <laughs> nah. I need a tissue or a napkin. There you are. What a mess. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> they just don't handle things with dignity. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> this just in about the uh, the plane crash, by the way. Oh. Fast Freddy from uh, Jamaica Station. The plane skidded off the runway and burst into Steve's. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> oh. God, my nose is running. Oh. Same joke over and over again. Eco from Philly. I wonder if the plane went down in a huge smoking inferno of Steve's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these guys get it. Jerry Lee Lewis from Wagbag, Charlotte. When you say flaming wreckage, do you mean wreckage, wreckage of the Steve variety? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <clears throat> All right. NBC Jet Kid Dead. That is just awful. Very insensitive. It's just, it's just, and it's not necessary. I don't mind something insensitive if it's necessary. Like? Whatever it would be, like the Chambers thing. Or, mm. or you know what I mean? You know, or, or maybe when the Rodney King beating happened. I didn't, I didn't think that they needed to put Jig Head Gets Lumpy, but that was what they... <laughs> <laughs> that was what they chose to put. Oh my God. What? The bell's not even going to help that, Anthony. No, that wasn't no. that bad. <laughs> Mike from Virginia. Um, this this is how the Post had the headline of uh, Reagan's death. 
President Reagan, forgetful man forgets to breathe. Not bad. And then Kerry, uh, Kerry from Jersey, I guess. This is true. Uh, a real New York Post headline from a few years ago. I remember this one. Headless body and topless bar. Yep. Do you remember yeah, that, that was one? A good one. I do remember that one. Yes, very good. Thank you. For but it would do. I'm sorry, but it was unnecessary when Nancy Reagan had the mastectomy. For them to have the headline "One Down, One to Go," was there any real reason for that? Oh. Oh. I mean, it just wasn't right. Oh. oh. All right. Well, it is sad, though. Yeah. Obviously. Duke from Jersey. What's up, Duke? Goodness gracious. Great balls and stickies. <laughs> <laughs> Pappy from Jersey. Morning, fellas. Hey. Morning, sugar pants. Hi, angel eyes. I'm sorry. Friend. I have a mouthful of smoothie. <laughs> yeah, it's smoothie time. Yep. A little earlier than usual, but... Hey, hey. Uh, back when uh, this guy in California killed all these guys in a McDonald's, the headline in the post was Big Mac Attack. Yeah, that that's true, too. One. Big Mac Attack. Wow. That's the, that's what's sad about this. The fake ones aren't that off from the real ones that the post does. And the, the post just tries so hard to uh, <clears throat> to let people think they're a legitimate newspaper and that they're outraged by certain things. Whenever the post or that Phil Mushnick cocksucker decides... Uh, He's gonna spread some of his morality around. Just look where look where you draw your paycheck from, you dolt. His last name is Mushnik. He is a Mushnik. Ugh. Sounds like Awful. a Yiddish insult. A Mushnik. You're a Mushnik. A Mushnik on you and your family. <laughs> I never take it off. I die with it on my Mushnik. <laughs> Yeah, we forgot. Yeah, this guy reminds us this was a real New York Post headline when Arafat uh, died. Arafat Lady Sings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had his big fat wife on the cover. Arafat Lady oh, Sings. Good one. Oh, um, Booby Man from Brooklyn checking in, Anthony. Um, he writes, Hey, I lost my job today. I was steeped. Oh. <laughs> Slappy C from Jersey say, Norton is on Steve's shoes this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I wish I could think of more fucking uh, tragedies. Mm. God. Was this a real head headline? What? Bud Dwyer shoots off at the mouth? Could be. No, I doubt it. Mm. Could very well have been. Why do I doubt it? Mm. What a fool. <laughs> Why do I doubt it? <laughs> Why did you doubt that? I don't know. <clears throat> and we're all trolling for headlines. Oh, I know. Wish Why I can't this refresh faster? Wish trying I... to get the listeners involved. So this helping. show could have some timing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Nope. No. No, that didn't work, Iron oh, Jeff. Well. Sorry. No. Last no. time Michael Jackson was accused of rape, the post headline was Jacko gets some cracko. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> I don't think Jacko gets them crack. I do off. remember though when Michael Jackson was doing that Pepsi video and somebody threw one of Steve's shoes at him. <laughs> uh, Chris from Philly, New York Post headline on Kurt Cobain's death. Guess he did have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Daniel from Alabama, I just found an old headline from the 70s. Leonard Skinner goes down on Steve in Louisiana. Yes. Hey, uh, now jokes are coming in, Anthony. Oh. Steve from Philly, what's the difference between a Jew and a pizza? What? A pizza doesn't scream when you put it in Steve's shoes. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. That's awful, Steve from Philly. You should be ashamed of yourself. Was Eric late this morning because of Steve's boots alarm? <laughs> <laughs> Slappy from Jersey. Headline, Calgary Steve's win the Stanley Cup. 
Uh, and James is learning something in Toronto. He learned today that uh, my favorite Hendrix song is actually called Steve. <laughs> I do like that one uh, Johnny Cash number, Burn and Ring of Steve's Shoes. God, we can run shit into a ground. Yeah, we don't, really we, can. don't we know how? Instead it's of having money headlines prepared, just keep doing the f shoe jokes. It was great, though. Wow. Now, how do you announce hey, what, when there's two what, left? What oh, my goodness. CD car stereo. That's that's fantastic. I mean, because that's what the popular rage is, the CD car stereo. <laughs> CD car stereo. <laughs> that's cool. Um, okay. all right. <laughs> it's second and place. also a membership to Columbia House Records. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mighty. <laughs> but you can only buy eight tracks. <laughs> you know, or perhaps a laser disc player. Would you yeah. like a laser disc player? Now watch Steve take all the excitement out of how yeah, the Steve, first place thing is I like the big hate, winner. Hate us and hate the listeners, but let's show some enthusiasm. Here. I don't hate you. Because now I he's just gonna you. go in second place is, and then he'll announce that and leave. And of course, in first place, but you'll yeah. know who it is because like they'll you'll yeah, have, have announced it. Yeah. There's a way of doing it. Yeah, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm, sh I'm, I'm. Like it, you say second place, but then you quickly go to first. You know, first it's place like and then the excitement second, builds. Second Maybe this will help you. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me let me try to help you out a little here. Yeah, ta yeah, da -da -da. Where the F did it go? Oh, you'll find it. Yeah, da -da -da. on the right. Oh, there you go. All right, here we go. You gotta give him the uh, in second Ooh. place. In second place, winning a not only a copy of Jim's book, he came in and he gets an iPod Nano as well. Oh, it is. Not you, Duffy. It is Mark with your salivary stone. Oh, so number one is number one. Oh, oh my God, God. Stop the freaking drug oh, You suck, oh, Steve. Oh my God, you, know you it was? suck. Wait, I forgot bring his... in club soda, Kenny. Kenny. Oh my God, oh, I knew, knew it. it. Wait, oh, Steve my. voted. Yeah, huh? who voted for that? Uh, no, the YSP gang. Yeah. Okay. I thought Steve did. I'm like, maybe it was a taste test. But <laughs> <laughs> you ever see how they do it on TV? Yes, when they TV. have three people, right. you, you say the third one, get them out of the way. And then first and second stands there. You announce second place mm -hmm. as like a throwaway. Like it's like, and in second place, that's the one that's in first place. Blah, blah, blah. So to Kenny, show them how it's done, okay? okay. <laughs> you got the paperwork in front yeah. of you? What happened? <laughs> oh, oh my Christ. God, this staff is so tired. Uh, YSP worked us to the bone, man. It was fun yesterday, but we're all beat. Wow. We did like an 18-hour day for these people yesterday. Now, Kenny, do you know how Kenny. to do a first, second, and third, actually third, second, first place winner of a contest to yeah. make it exciting and, and make the payoff, the guy who's in first place, the big deal? Yeah, I watch American Idol. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. He so does, by we'll, the way. We'll give you. There He's you good go. like that. All right. I'll tell you after this commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stupid no. Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's really good. Damn. Hey, Kenny. Kenny, did we get your picture next to Eddie, by the way, for the website? Hi, Eddie. How you doing? No? You haven't done that yet? All right. No. Looks like he's going to eat me. <laughs> he might. I don't eat anything with a face on it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. All right, let's go, Kenny. <laughs> Here we go. Kenny will do it right. And the winner. No, 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 no. You got to do it from oh. third place. Oh, Explain. Go my way. Oh, okay, okay. All right. The winner of the big contest who's getting the beautiful prize. What prize? The Bix Plasma TV. Oh, God. <laughs> will be known in a second. <laughs> but first, in third place. No, we did third. Go to second. <laughs> oh, sorry. He kind of did third. <laughs> the runner-up <laughs> for the second biggest prize of the weirdest thing you brought to WYSP, to the Opie and Anthony show, the greatest show. <laughs> And Kid Chris is the run us up with the second greatest show. <laughs> the run us up. The run us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you run us up here. <laughs> Why don't you do a Jim Norton plug while you're at it? 
What, tonight at bookends in Ridgewood, New Jersey? There you go. It's not necessary. Happy yeah. endings. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go. <laughs> Second place, the weirdest thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, my God. You know College great? degree. Hold on. You know what's great about this? Duffy's still shaking all nervous because he's not sure if he won yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, just relax. <laughs> Oh my God. Second place, Mark Hudson with the salivary stones. Let's hear it for him. No. Oh, Which no. means yeah, the grand prize yeah, winner go, is go, 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 go. for the weirdest thing, Mr. James Duffy. Yeah. What's his stand? What do you win? What do you bring in? Yeah, what do you bring in? His big bag. That's what he <laughs> win. <laughs> He's got the 42 inch uh, uh, yeah. plasma TV. Yes. Yeah, all right. All right. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're they're just enthused in the. Uh, wow, wow the my God, look at that room. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you guys not agree with the yeah. decision? They don't care. Oh. They really don't. They just want to. Dude, pictures don't and cross your legs like that. We can see your bag. <laughs> All right. So, uh, uh, what do we? Oh, well, we know what we're going to do on XM. It's going to have something to do with your bag. Right. Yes, all right. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Kenny, the plugs. We got to uh, get off YSP's air here. I hear you. <laughs> we got music for the plugs? Anything? Um, what can we do? Uh, uh, huh? Oh, Dan's got an idea. All right. All right, Dan. Dan's running. Thank God Dan's got an idea. Thank God. Uh, I want to start. Guys, mm -hmm. stop listening to Preston and Steve. <laughs> Seriously. Stop. Stop already. Yeah, stop it now. If you, uh, <laughs> all right, way to reiterate. <laughs> okay, shut down. Just stop already. <laughs> hmm? We can't keep doing these 18-hour days. Yeah. We just stop already. Yeah. It's O and A like all the way. That's what I say. <laughs> and kid Chris sometimes. <laughs> He gave us some great characters, though. <laughs> no, Kid Chris is a big fan of mine. You might not know that. Yeah, I love Kid. We used to email back in the day. Yep, he talked about you yesterday. You yeah, slapped as Jimmy. he should. As part of that meet as the Freaks, he uh, should. DVD. Yeah. All right, let's go. We got the music for the oh, plugs? Well, I don't know. Let's... All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Limo service was provided by First Class Limos. Go to firstclasslimos.com or call 856-461-3300. The TVs were provided by Advanced AV System Design Integration. Oh, Service and product and sales. When it just has to be done right, don't let me announce it. <laughs> Check out advancedav.com or call 877 696 7700. Catering all the delicious food was done by Mario's. Mario's! To see what everyone is talking about, go to cateringbymarios.com. And of course, Budweiser and the Lagoon and Octane. Manhattan Bagels for your summertime headquarters for delicious frozen drinks. Core Table Sports who gave us the foosball table. Time out, time out. Yeah. You kind of uh, ran by the Octane and they're, mm -hmm. they're really good friends. We don't like that. Yeah, and they're going to be part of the virus thing. Well, I didn't lump them up here with Budweiser and Lagoon. Way to yell. <laughs> yeah, but it, uh, as the announcer, you got to like, you know. All right, give but, each, uh, each, all right, I'll each, give each a, thing special attention. No, you're right, so, GH. All right, so back I'm up. Sorry. All right, continue with the plugs. Love you're absolutely candy. right. I want to hear something a little octane, better for Octane. Octane, listen to me now. Get special props. <laughs> They're going to be performing at Traveling Virus shows, too. So get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com for Traveling Virus, and you'll see Octane as a special performing guest at OctaneRocks.com. <laughs> All right, Manhattan bagels we did, the foosball. <laughs> All right. Uh, Wait, the foosball people. Yeah, coretablesports.com. Messing up foosball for everyone. Yeah. Getting hockey sticks yeah. into the thing. <laughs> the cheerleader strip joint was incredible last night. Uh, the staff of YSP, and I want to personally thank, and what I mean by personally is I want to thank uh, Karen Buck <laughs> and Diane Dalton. And uh, the guy that runs the joint in the tie. I also want to thank Karen Buck, and I, I want to tell her, stop having kids. We need you around here. <laughs> My God. Place yeah. fell apart. She decided to have three kids in four years, and YSP almost uh, went away for good. 
And yeah. who's the boss the, with the tie? Who's that guy? What's his name? Uh, David. Mr. Chris, do you know? Uh, the general manager's David, yes. Yes. He, he, the guy that looks like Mohammed Atta? <laughs> Mohammed Atta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everybody here <laughs> is terrific at YSP. And a big shout out to Philly. Yes, of course. And the rest of the country what, for putting up What with about this. Philly's finest? Oh, those guys? They go old school. No, they're a friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Philly's finest for... Yeah. Uh, I used to be on the job. For the police escorts, just annoying Philly yeah. for the last two just days. Just keep tuning people up. Make me happy. <laughs> uh, and what about Kid Chris? Yeah. Mr. Chris, always a pleasure. What keep about, up the good work. And what about Eddie? We'll see Eddie at Traveling Virus at the Tweeter Center in Camden. What day is that? Uh, in a couple September of weeks. September 15th. <laughs> a couple of weeks? Are you crazy? Detroit's in a couple of weeks. I'm still working on getting us home today. Oh. <laughs> September 15th. <laughs> Tickets available through Ticketmaster.com. Exactly. And for that show, you know, we're doing a military special. No, that's for uh, Boston. Boston. Uh, oh, you're right. Jesus. We'll have those details tomorrow. You're always right, G.H. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else you want me to talk about? Are you drunk? No, I'm sleep deprived. Yeah. Uh, right. You know, and I'm, you know I'm big and stupid to begin with. Yeah. So I got a very small head because I got very little brains in them. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, Kenny. Did we get it all in? All the plugs? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Thank you. <laughs> We're all going to be fired. <laughs> hey, where's when Steve? John Henry was a little baby. <laughs> where's Steve today? Uh, we have to get Martini Steve oh, in here we before we break. Looks like he jumped in front of something. Oh, my God. I walked in today, and I just was like, I just started laughing. And he's like, what, what? I'm like, look, you don't have to worry about me. Mm -hmm. He's getting all paranoid. I'm like, trust me, I'm not going to be the one that's going to make fun of you for the next, I don't know. How long does it take to grow back in? You know what? He looks like he jumped in front of the gay pride parade. <laughs> <laughs> he got run. He and got, it hit him dead yeah. center. <laughs> He got run over by a leather float. <laughs> oh, what an atro- Hey, could, you, could someone get him to sashay in here? I'd like to talk to him. Where is Steve? Oh. Mm. If I had the long version of the Martini Steve theme, this would be perfect. You right know, now. anytime Opie brings up the, the Steve, like, gay innuendo thing that you bring up a lot with yeah. Steve, I am the first one to jump in and defend this guy. Yeah. All the time. Over, all right, he wears the flaming clothes. He, he watches chick flicks. He... He he has a a bear quality to a him. A big bear quality <laughs> about him. He's face. got the big tattoos and everything. And I, but I defend him because yeah, I've seen him and I I do truly believe he enjoys the company of girls. You know, but you never had to hug him and comfort him as he's crying on your shoulder. Okay, <laughs> look, and I maybe never I, I never do. All right, want to. maybe I have some personal experiences with this guy that's a little deeper than yours. Uh -oh. Not not in, involve a Java log. <laughs> not, <laughs> not in that way. Not in that way. But there he is. There he is. Hold on a minute. Oh, there he is. Curse this thing. Where were you sitting on Snoopy's doghouse? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's Martini Steve. Yeah. Hi, Steve. Hi. Steve. Steve, everybody. Yeah, I know. Um, st I'm just wondering what possessed you. What? I got an urge. Got an urge to uh, to bleach the dew. And because uh, <laughs> I, 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 I can't settle on a look for more than, you know, a month before mm -hmm. I look in and, and, and before I look at myself and go, I need a radical change. You know, whether it's a, yep. uh, whether it's shirts or boots. Yeah, we can't keep up with his look. Sometimes he has to grow the sideburns nice and yeah. long and thick. Then he has, like, kind of the old backstreet thing happening where it's all yeah. carved out nice all over the place. Thin mustache and thin beard and, and, and I don't know, sideburns over here. Yeah. Then he chops the whole thing and just goes with the sole patch. He's got the, the patch working in front. Then, but it's more of a, it's it's a more than strip. just the, the it's patch. A, it's a landing strip. Landing strip of from his bottom lip. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and it's a blonde hair, uh, bleached yeah. blonde. He just mm -hmm. went bleached blonde. Yeah. And it's very short. Yeah, I had to. Uh, I, had, I was actually thinking about doing this a while ago, but I couldn't find a bleaching kit that um, that didn't have explicit instructions that said, uh, do not put on scalp because it will oh. fry your scalp. I found one yesterday or the two days ago that actually was specifically made for guys who want to do this. How long do you keep that on? Um, uh, the actually the, the the instructions said put it on for an hour and a half, and oh. that's 
but after 15 minutes, I'm looking at myself going, you know, that's awfully yellow. Maybe I ought to rinse this off. Yeah. And yeah, and after 15 minutes, it was it was that was 15 minutes. That was 15 minutes, and it was mm. blonde as hell. So you didn't Looks... you didn't go for the eyebrows. No, you're not supposed to do your eyebrows. No, no. It even says not made for eyebrows. Do not. I didn't. I didn't want my eyebrows to fall off. So I just. Uh-huh. Well, now that you have that, are you excited about your new channel on Sirius? Are you? <laughs> Quite. Thank you. <laughs> he really looks like Eminem. Uh, after I'm, the fat yeah. I'm the fat shady. I'm the fat shady. The real fat shady. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> yep. Not all of these uh, image alterations are are for the better. I have to say, they're just, yeah. you know, thank sweet God it's hair. Facey. <laughs> I'm sweet facey. Yes, I'm the sweet facey. Yeah. I'm Steve Cozy. Yes, I'm. Steve Cozy. <laughs> Uh, wow. So yeah. we go into the office. He's at his computer working hard for the show, and he has a hat on. And we all knew, all right, what did you do now? <laughs> yeah. Last time, he just shaved it completely, you know, to skin. Mm-hmm. And then we knew something was going on, and, and he was kind of hiding. He showed Ant and I. But as soon as Norton walked into the office, you just went and just took off the hat. And you know, yep. all right, here it here is. Here it is. Yeah. Have your fun, kids. Let's yeah. get it going. Exactly. Let's get it on. No, any other things you're thinking of, uh? For your look? No, that was pretty much it for now. I mean, that's not not to say that I um uh that I won't have an urge in about uh, in about a month or two. I'm actually thinking about a new new ink, but uh, oh really? I don't know. Like like I said the other day, it's you got to really commit when you want to do the full sleeve. So forearms, yeah, yeah, that's kind of you can't really cover that up with with shorts. Do you want to get a tattoo that matches? Oh, I'm sorry. No, oh, that's it. I was just going to say, if you want to get a tattoo that matches the hair, maybe you could have a potted plant on one arm and a sick friend on the other. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, is, it, is, is the bleach blonde do particularly queer? No, um, not at all. Not at all. Well, Absolutely not. No. I, no well, no. I'm serious. There were plenty of people that we saw with very good looking women you know, at, at that dinner that we went to in Vegas that had this do. So I'm you know, questioning whether or not it's Right, that, but they weren't know. wearing flame boots. That would look less gay if you had two testicles tattooed on your cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> you should get a Roman war helmet tattooed on your face, and that would be less gay than that hair. <laughs> well, thank God it's it, hair and it, it grows It brings back. out your softer side, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, you don't look as um, mean and rugged. You do oh, look yeah. sweet. <laughs> you look thank sweeter. You, you look cozier. Sweeter. Right. I, just want, I just want to sit next to you like with a little fire going on a bearskin rug <laughs> and just did. talk. He went from like grizzly bear to pooh bear. Oh. <laughs> the one request I got from my wife was uh, I picked it up on, on, on Saturday evening. She said, just please wait until we're done having dinner with my parents yeah, before she... you do that oh. to yourself. What does she think of all these? Uh... She knows she can't make she, – she knows she really can't stop me. Right. She just, yeah, she, damn she, it. Yeah. She just – you know, well, she's like, you're going to do whatever the hell you want anyway, so just please, you know, hold off on making yourself even weirder looking. Did she, mm. did she offer to drive you to a train station in Linden yet? <laughs> no, not yet. Perhaps that's coming. <laughs> Uh, oh, fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, it's hair. It'll grow back. Yeah, it's, uh, and it's short. It's very short. Yeah. So, you know, you could just buzz that off, and in a, a two weeks, you'll you'll be back to Less, yeah, regular ten, haircut. Ten days Probably. it'll be. Uh, Lebanese hair grows very quickly. Yes, it, it sure does. does. <laughs> it's, very, it's very brittle, though. It's like hay almost now. Oh, really? They put because... A- they put a lot of conditioners in the bleaching kit. No, it's kit, like gay, so. really, not hay. It burns. <laughs> no, it's, it's like, hey. <laughs> hey. Oh. All right, uh, so, yeah. right, Steve, enjoy your new do, I guess. Thank Let you. me say, Steve, it, look, it looks um, fabulous, <laughs> if I may you. use the word. That's really what I was going for. Yeah. Yes, perfect hairdo for wedding vows in Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that color would complement a material like leather very well. Buckles, things like that. I have a lot of leather. Sure. I do. Mm-hmm. All right, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> what a rip. There he goes. It's Martini Steve. Martini Steve. Hey. It's Martini Steve. Doing the hottest rod contest today? Why isn't Jimmy here for this? Was Anthony and I asleep during this meeting? Asleep at the Why switch. Why the fuck would we do a hottest rod contest? What oh. was this suggested? Was it Steve C's idea? This is great. It's the hottest rod contest. Um, We're doing a hottest rod contest. Well, now don't get confused. We won't be judging the most attractive of cock. I know a lot of people out there are going, ooh, the hottest rod. That must be they pull out rods and judge them on shape 
uh, texture and taste. Yeah, but no. I was going to go with taste, too. <laughs> but no. Ah, come on. Uh, well, it's... um. We're really doing the hottest rod contest? Holy yeah. shit. People saying, sorry, still gay. <laughs> it's, it's extremely gay. I thought funny. Sponsored by Paramount Pictures' new movie, Hot Rod. Oh! Starring Andy Samberg, who's coming in studio. All right, if there's a film tie-in. Uh, Steve, I couldn't miss this. I wouldn't miss it for the world. What is it? The the hot cock content? No, Rod. It's a movie. <laughs> and it's, it stars Andy Samberg and Isla Fisher, Steve. Isla Fisher. I heard the promo a million times. And Isla Fisher. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> This is silent in her name. She's uh, married to to, uh, to that Borat guy. Oh, yeah? Isla Fisher. Open nationwide Friday, August 3rd. Fight, we, fight. We got uh, three contestants. We got $500 uh, cash for the hottest rod. Ooh, tell me more, Steve. Wow. Tell me more. So we're giving away cash for boners? <laughs> nice. Can't we just change the contest? Like, the first guy that gets wood just fucking takes the 500 and goes home. Ew. Uh, well, Wouldn't just, that make it more gay? Even more gay. Yeah, that's more gay. I didn't. Well, if you're going to be gay, it doesn't matter. Really. Kinda. Think about it. Um. Yeah. How did this come about, uh, Steve? It was suggested by uh, the wonderful people at XM, the uh, the sales department at XM. Oh, yeah. They had uh, the hot rod people wanted to uh, get the, involved. Who's the fag working among us that suggested this? Oh, you see him every Thursday. You're saying well, Will's a fag. I didn't say Will's a fag. <laughs> you just said Wow. It. I said you see him every you Thursday. You just said that I... Will is a fag. What? He's a family man. He's a family man. Beard. What he likes to do in his spare time is totally his choice. All right, oh. Steve. Why don't you tell everyone what the contest is all about? Uh, a bunch of guys are going to grease up their cocks with Icy Hot. <laughs> uh, and uh, <laughs> he makes it sound <laughs> sexy. Yeah, doesn't it? What? Are you well, kidding? What part? What do you mean, what part? What part of there? Everything? Well, Just the whole junk, everything. <laughs> the most sensitive part, I would assume. The, uh... <laughs> the carriage, uh, the ball bag, and, Okay, uh, so balls... A, I don't think balls are the most sensitive area. Isn't that what we did with these guys and those PSPs that one if time? you really want a contest... Oh, Christ. You know. Put it right on the knob. You're so some goes in the hole. <laughs> you let someone... Oh, shit. You let someone stroke their knob with that... Fucking icy hot. What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with us? Yes. What? All right, My then what God. happens? So they, It says, play the Sam's promo. It's totally gay Steve C. All right, let's hear the promo for the hot rod contest. Is you this the it. promo where he says Isla Fisher? Yeah, it is. Let's and there were three the other homo. people in the room with me when I cut that, and nobody corrected me. Oh. <laughs> they were too busy sucking each other's cocks. Well, so what? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? What? Shut up. Let me finish this. I'll join in. You know, words hurt. We got Redneck from Atlanta. Fez is straight compared to you, fags. Yeah. Yep. We can't even argue that point. Is this it right here? I believe it is. Yeah. All right. We got the Hot Rod Contest promo from Steve. All righty. Let's uh, wait to hear it. I should listen to this channel when we're off the air, huh? Coming soon to the Opie and Anthony show, it's the Hottest Rod Contest. Brought to you by the movie Hot Rod, starring Andy Samberg from Saturday Night Live and Isla Fisher from Wedding Crashers. <laughs> Isla. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I laugh hard because I know you take that stuff seriously. I do. See, I don't. I, I mispronounce seriously. all the time, but uh, to you, it's very. It, it's, a, it's a very serious thing when you mispronounce. It is. Coming soon to the Opie and Anthony show, oh, it's so the Hottest Rod again. Contest. Brought to you by the movie Hot Rod, starring Andy Samberg from Saturday Night Live and Isla Fisher from Wedding Crashers in theaters August 3rd. What is the Hottest Rod Contest? That's obvious. Wait, I'm in the promo? All right. Oh, yeah. Had, had to the... sex it up a little bit with two, <laughs> two men. Had to make sexy. Theaters August 3rd. What is the Hottest Rod Contest? That's obvious. Let the conversation begin. Wow. That's a big day. Oh my God! I didn't All know right, who? What the, who the fuck? <laughs> Come on, guys! What the oh. fuck? Oh, that's, that's, I didn't know I was. <laughs> yeah, it was Derek. I was the star uh, of this fucking thing. Good boy, Derek. What? What? What happened? 
Did you change the promo? Wait, no, that was uh, there you was changed the promo because I heard a very. Isn't that me boring. talking about the cock? Yes, yeah. This but was... I'm showing the cock. That's bad too. Oof. This is the one that uh, Derek initially made and sales went. No, it's too long. It's got to be thirty seconds. So we cut out all the gay. And this is the one that. Oh, cut out all the gay. So this really hasn't aired on the on the channel. Well, it is now. <laughs> I knew I didn't hear this. <laughs> oh man, I gotta I gotta get the part where I fuck, fucking present my cock to Anthony. <laughs> this is just wonderful. Present. Let me present. Just present. Hot Rod, starring Andy Samberg from Saturday Night Live and Isla Fisher from Wedding Crashers <laughs> in theaters August third. What is the hottest rod contest? That's obvious. Let the conversation begin. <laughs> wow. That's a big dick. Who <laughs> else? What the fuck? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> uh, oh, my that is a God. bad one. Hold on a minute. Let's say hi to Terry in San Antonio. A fine observation coming in from San Antonio. Terry, what's up? Hey, no much. Just in the traffic. I, I had a little observation. Uh, you got a uh, a hot fucking porn chick in there with these great tits that nobody can look at, but yet uh, we can uh, look at cocks doing whatever the hell you're going to do. How gay we, is that? This is so gay. We talk about double standards on our show all the time, and it's not just a black-white double standard thing. It's also a chick-guy double standard yeah, thing. Yeah, what the fuck? They will let us do the gayest shit, and no one will even raise an eyebrow down the hall or down in Washington. But as soon as you suggest that a girl comes in and maybe flashes us, all no, hell breaks loose. No, we can't do that. You're right, Terry. Another double standard. Thank I you, sir. Let's go to Kerry in uh, Vegas. Kerry, what's up? Hey, what's going on, fellas? Is hey. it me or when Steve was describing where they're going to put the, the icy hat, he was giggling like a schoolgirl? <laughs> was he? Ball bag. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. Yeah, Frunk is all right. Uh, let's. Well, let me present my cock again. Be Hot Rod, starring Andy Samberg from Saturday Night Live and Isla Fisher from Wedding Crashers in theaters August third. What is the hottest rod contest? That's obvious. Let the conversation begin. Wow, that's a big dick. Well, you come into the studio, paint up your cock with Icy Hot, and the last person standing after a hefty amount of phallic physicality wins $500. Losers go home with a burning dick and some shit we had lying around the office. <laughs> Want to compete? Email Travis at FoundryMusic.com. That's Travis at FoundryMusic.com. It's the hottest rod contest coming soon to the Opie and Anthony Show. Brought to you by the movie Hot Rod in theaters August 3rd. Wasn't there a, a different way we could have tied in the movie Hot Rod <laughs> yes. than, than for Rod to be the cock? Because yes. Hot Rod is, we're, we're talking about... Well, well, we could have just got a bunch of Rods. Guys named Rod. Rod. <laughs> that's, What's your name, that's Rod? That's All right, let's try to figure out which Rod is the hottest. Hot Rod. <laughs> yeah, this is... We'll have a swimsuit competition. Guys are going to be, like, stroking their dicks? What the fuck? Look, man, you were there. Nah, I don't remember this. You were there. Was you I? had this meeting, yes. Uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I got I got to bring something up that no! uh, hap happened the other day. What? Uh, I I get a text from Steve C. The other uh, evening after I got home, and it said, uh, "Anthony, I spoke with Than." About um, the way he, uh, what was the wording he used? Kind of uh, uh, gave me a jab on the air. Gave me. Uh, do you have the actual? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll read it. To you. Okay, we get, get, read that to me because when I first read this, I was I was taken aback, as they say, <laughs> because I rarely get texts from Steve C. Well, it's it's, it's a new practice, actually. Yes, it, because it works you don't, better you, than email. Yeah, it does because it works better than email because you yeah. don't respond to my emails. I why would I? Oh, you guys read them. Ooh, Damn. What I, I fucking how can I respond to something <laughs> I instantly delete? Exactly. But you can. No, we got to work on this. I do. Uh bad, Steve. Hold on. It scrolls, scrolls, yeah, scrolls. scrolls, scrolls, right? Scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Steve, are you nervous? No, not at all. Uh, the, the gist of it was I told Than to but be no, careful. I don't want with... the gist. Oh, okay. I went for for bottom for bottom as uh, hundreds of thousands. Park says, if not millions, let me check. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions. <laughs> lingy, lingy. No, then. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my God! I, I got a Why source. Why can't you find it? Uh, find it. Okay, I got it. I got it. no, no. Man, oh, come on. Cock. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Wait, no, Wait, no. no. I don't have it. Big Lebanese fingers trying to navigate <laughs> the <laughs> no good with that little things. scroll wheel. Oh, mm. what a mess! Oh, oh white there's and... your pizza. Ah, from Subway. Subway. Subway, Subway. Subway oh, pizza. Oh, Subway pizza at, at oh. nine fifty-eight. Well, I'll give you ten o'clock. Oh. Ten in the morning. Oh no, a Subway pizza. <laughs> what that is, is that what you want? You know something? Let, let me see. Let me let me let me let me ask you something. Oh, forget it. We're in New York fucking city. Pizza. Which is known to right, have you, the you best pizza it. in the world. I didn't even know Subway made pizza. <laughs> and there was a Subway pizza? It's a, it's like Did you get their... this at the airport? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike over there. No, Why no, not no, a no, real no, fucking sorry. pizza joint? We'll get back on that after we bash him for the pizza. Why not a real p pizza parlor, as we say? There is uh, uh, There are numerous pizza parlors <laughs> yes. around New York City. New York City known for the best pizza in the world. Um, why Subway? No one started serving before 10.30. <gasps> ah, too early. I asked oh. Kenny if we, too should, early. if we should ask him if he wants something else. And Kenny said, no, get him a pizza. And so I did. So you're blaming Club Soda Kenny for no. the Subway no. pizza. In that mocking sounds, voice. Sounds, yeah, it sounds like he's blaming him. In a mocking voice, yes. Where's Kenny? Wow, Kenny should be really pissed off at this guy. Could not, could only because he didn't say that Kenny said no, he said he wanted pizza. He said he wanted to retard mode, voice what? mode. Yeah. No, yeah. get him a uh, pizza. Here, he here comes Club Soda Kenny. What's uh, what's your name, sir? Patrick. Patrick, and what how should... long have you been uh, an intern for the program? <laughs> Three months. Three yeah. months? <laughs> wow. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Patrick. I, I see him a lot. Once. You were on once? On air once. Really? Other than that, I've been in the back. And what was the on air part? You made fun of my calves, and then you went into the Pat Duffy and Renee affair. Ah, okay. Pat Duffy blew up All your right. spot. Yeah, yes. Pat Duffy definitely passed you by. All right, club soda Kenny. Now, now you have to talk to Kenny as Kenny since you did the Kenny impression. Yeah, that was, a, and it was a good one. I did the Kenny impression now that Kenny's in the room. Uh, no, he wanted pizza. That wasn't the Kenny impression. No, no, you put a little more retard oomph no, into it. No, you wanted pizza. That's yeah, that, that was the Kenny who graduated high school. I want the other Kenny that you did before. <laughs> no, he wanted pizza. I, I can't get me. I just consider the source. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Biting comeback. That's <laughs> easy, terrific. Ken. Don't go for the throat. Whatever. <laughs> I'm rubber, you're glue. <laughs> but look, look, well, let's face it. The guy works hard. And like with the money he makes and the benefits and the overtime and the raise he's going to get for the new year, he'll make nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. That wasn't bad. Yeah. A little Why more is he biting. like Spencer right. for hire. Spencer! <laughs> Spencer for hire! <laughs> there's, there's also another observation that needs to be made. He's He's got his thumb on something. Yeah, I can't talk about it. Oh, uh, Why? is that some kind of... Um... No, they're just travel arrangements. Yeah, but see, Kenny has to keep the thumb on on the thing he's got to remember. It's usually with uh, driving directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm working. We on can't something. talk about it. All right. Yeah, I'm working on something. Ooh, ooh, what's that, Kenny? Ooh. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working on a doo doo? No, no, no. Big, that I'd be proud of. Big boy's gonna make a doo doo. No, uh, big boy had a, a problem last night. What wow. happened? <laughs> The people from Mum and Sean's wanted their shirt back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I had a bit of a sour stomach last yeah. night. Oh, so sour! It ruined my whole workout. After every, <laughs> did it ruin the workout equipment? That's the real question. Goes to one set on the machine and then the other set on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. You ever fart your way through a whole set, though? After uh, each rep? I, I love to fart in the gym, anonymously. Yeah. Yeah, and I just keep moving and then just watch the aftermath. <laughs> Blame someone else. Yeah. They drop the weights on their neck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nothing better than that. Blame it on the girl using that leg machine that opens and closes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You stink, lady. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of farting, man fires rifle at group after mockery for farting. 
No. S- see what oh, I, I never now. got through my Steve story, though. Oh, you want to go back to Steve? Sure. Yeah, yeah real quick. Well, is Bill going to eat the pizza now? Yeah. yeah, I mean, we made such a big deal out got of it. Got it now. I got, I got to try it. See I how that Subway pizza There's is. so much cheese on this, I can't even see, like, the individual slices. Cheese covers a world of hurt. It's a little pizza this thing, too. It's round. It's it's a little pizza with a... I should be hearing audio right now. Wow. We have a very full flight. <laughs> Please do not put your jackets in the overhead compartment. <laughs> Eating your shit food. Oh, my God. Heather this... Mills should be standing over that crying. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> is, that like an, is that an abortion <laughs> joke? <laughs> what do you mean? Ah, that's a good one. That's a... Uh, a little miscarriage joke. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Undercooked. Steve... Yeah, so Steve sent me a text, and it said... Um, it said, I had a talk with Than, because he noticed that Than had thrown a little jab, a little bash at me on uh, that day's show. So he had had a talk with Than about this, that it wasn't appropriate for him to chime in and give a jab to uh, the on-air staff as they are doing the show. And then he, he texts me with that information, then says, um, if, if you didn't mind this, I'm sorry... Um, and that was pretty much it. And and then I'm thinking, why wouldn't he ask me first if it bothered me? And then, if it did, have the talk with Than. Um, so I then had to text Than with this <laughs> long apology of, oh my God, I didn't... Because then I'm think all I'm thinking is, you had the talk with Than. And Than thinks I'm the biggest fucking douchebag it was to go to Dan. Steve and go, Steve, uh, no. tell, tell Than that I didn't appreciate what he said. No, no, that's not at all. That, him. that isn't exalt- at all at all what, what what it was. I think I can't remember. No, who, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I can't. I can't no, remember no, 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 who no. mentioned it, but somebody said in the studio, and I would mention it if I could remember who it was that you flashed Dan like some kind of mean look after he did it, and that's why I pulled Than aside and said. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. I don't know if he got mad at you, but I maybe you shouldn't have done that. And then afterwards, I Hold thought... Hold on, yeah. let me check. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, let me check. And that's when I texted you and said I talked to Than about bashing you on air. If it was a mistake, then I apologize. Anthony, how did that conversation go? You should have milked this. Do you know how great that would have been? You should have written back and said, yeah, dude, that was just... It wasn't cool. I, oh. Dude, let me tell you something. I couldn't. Just the time in between the talk that Steve had with Than about this... And me finally texting Than and him getting back to me that he got the text. I was just thinking it was killing me to think that Than thought I was a douchebag that would get pissed at something like that. Yeah, I was kind of freaking out. So for the rest be, of the because show. and I told Than I go, <laughs> uh, it's open game. I go, I, I have no problem with anything Than would say. He's 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 a clever enough guy that he's not going to blurt something stupid out that's just you know hurtful. It's you know he does it in, in in jest like everybody else does here. Uh, what what was the talk like? I, that's what I was curious like about. Every was other it? talk probably. I pull I pull these guys aside individually. I don't do it in front of anybody else unless I'm just enraged. Then I fucking blow everybody's brains out in front of everybody else. But was it like? But did you go? <laughs> I, I don't understand how you would even glad the way you that. phrased that. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, I, did I phrase it poorly? I uh, blow everybody's brains out in front of everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> what a disciplinarian you are! I'll, su- I'll suck your cock till you're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. I say dumb things. Hey, uh, <laughs> was, was it uncomfortable for you, Than? Because I could only imagine. Yeah, I mean, it'd be oh. just like somebody telling me that sky was red or something. It, like it was the complete opposite of what I thought. Yeah, Than writes me back and says, you know, I, I thought, I I thought I didn't know how to read a room or you know a person or something like that. Which you kind of pride yourself on being in comedy and and on the air. You kind of got to know how to read the room and if you could jump on somebody or not. And then <laughs> Steve just fucking takes your confidence away. <laughs> What'd you say? I think I think I tend to be uh, protective of everybody, and that's uh, no shut sh- the sorry. fuck up. What? <laughs> You're not protective what? of me. Pardon? He's, Pardon? he's rejecting yeah. your love. Dan's right gonna now. have a talk. I know. With me now. It's all right. If I wasn't, don't it, best. Hey, uh, that, that might have bothered me. But, more importantly, <laughs> um, more importantly, I, I, it's been brought to my attention that uh, you do a new character. Ooh. Which one? Asshole who doesn't uh, isn't perceptive guy. <laughs> no, that's always a character I'm doing. Can't take a joke guy. Yeah, <laughs> can't take a joke. Asshole who isn't I think, perceptive. I think uh, Sam will help us out with this, right? Oh, of course. Yeah. Who is it? It's your new German guy that you've been doing. Oh, right that's not German office. guy. That's not. That's a new German guy. That's old German guy. Well, he sounded new to me. How does he sound like? Um, <laughs> a minute. German guy. Ah, 
<laughs> no, that's not, yeah. that's not true. Remember, remember, remember putting away the sex toys the other day. I was putting away. I'm trying to, I, I, I know. I, I, I remember you. doing it. Now I'm. Now I've lost it almost. Danny's uh, writing you a note to wait, remind I, wait, you. Wait, what did Than say to Ant? That started this whole hubbub. Uh, um, I don't remember. <laughs> we were talking about the gay porn thing, and how no, Ant said he. Uh, how he uh, came across gay porn. Oh, on the uh, internet, yeah. And so I just made some jokes about how he insisted that we keep it on longer and how we were trying to laugh and he told us all to shush because he wanted to enjoy the gay porn. Oh, oh right, right. It was when Leary was in the studio. And I was I like, think. no, I did not. It wasn't me. Yeah, and then I shot you a fucking look. Yeah. <laughs> and gave me the old <laughs> thumb across the throat. Thumb across the throat. And I looked at did Steve you, and said, you tell this You write him immediately after the show. Like, fuck. Where's the German character? Yeah, where's the I'm, German character? I'm looking character? for him. I'm probing. I'm probing. I don't want to waste too much time probing for him, though. Probing? I mean, in your mind? Yeah, probing. I gotta find him because I've been hearing, ow, oh, so fucking much, <laughs> I, so I can't Ew. get you're, out of it. You're actually, what? I'm looking for, I can't you're remember what. You're looking for it in your own head? In your head? It's gotta come organically or I'm not gonna remember how the fuck to do it. God only knows oh, what he's trying God. to push out of the way to find yeah, it. No, so I think he's gonna do like a one. Hookers. <laughs> like a one person show right now. No. Yeah. Gonna, I need to get to the theater at least no, six that's hours not what I mean. so I can get into character. <laughs> John Legu Zilcho. <laughs> that's not what I mean. He's gotta turn around. Uh, no, I can't, remember, I can't remember what he sounds like right now. <laughs> he was talking about using a can of talking about out to shove multiple large cocks up his ass if that <laughs> oh boy wow was, was he saying. yes he was god yeah. damn why can't well, you fuckers got to record me one day and i can't, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly wait someone who can imitate it? yeah can somebody well, get me started because I, I don't remember what the fuck he sounds sam, like right now can he imitate I, it i can't do that voice That's sam's got a new character though it's become the try to throw everybody under the bus show. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Wait, hold yeah. on. What's Sam's new character? Sam's new, Sam's, first of all, well, Sam has a What's couple. in development. Still. Sam's in development with a new character. Yeah. Because we, we all know that he's got AJ poopy shit. Yeah. You what? know, that's one character. You met AJ uh, last week, just at the end of the show. You booed him. You put your yeah, jacket yeah. on and left. Yeah. <laughs> How did AJ poopy shit sound? He kind of sounded like this, Jim. <laughs> Jim's shaking his head. He's just shaking his head. Okay. He's at it. What's he doing like? Well, uh, Sam's got a new character called uh, the O and A Scatman. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Well, I can't watch. <laughs> he talks in like a really jazzy voice and likes to scat at the end of his sentences. Oh, you know that, that sounds, sounds be cool. Okay. We'll acknowledge this is going to be worse than my pizza. Yeah. 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 We'll, ag <laughs> <laughs> we'll acknowledge that it's a work in progress. Yeah, let's go. Well, we might say like, "I'm here enjoying myself at the O and A show." Ba -ba -do -ba -ba -do. Just fucking die! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Wow. Like, That's God. like Billy thing. Crystal's bad character. Yes, without the Did humor and it? dignity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Do do that, 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 <laughs> he doesn't even scat very well. No, I, I thought he'd be like a German. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh my God! You're, <laughs> Wait, this is getting away from Steve's German character. I know. Too, though. It couldn't that be that worse. Why I did it? Can you dig that? I knew you knew that you could. A scoobly da ba ba da boop. What the <laughs> like, hell is that? Let me apologize to Sam. I, maybe I didn't give it a fair enough shot. I wanted to hate it, so I hated it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I I like Sam, so let me <laughs> let me give it another shot. Yeah, I apologize. Yeah, have, a, have an open mind. An open mind. There All you right. go. Try it again, Sam. Thanks for giving me another chance, Jim. A dope a joke boop. <laughs> Oh my god. Scat? ONA Scat guy? Yeah, ONA Scat guy. Oh, it sounds like scat fucking guy. Grover. <laughs> yeah, Grover's very successful. Wait, I'm what? No, <laughs> <laughs> no one can do Steve's German voice to get him going? I prefer we, the we scat have, from oh, wait, uh, wait, Two is, Girls, One Cup. That's is right. he in a, yeah, oh, you said that? No, I, I was oh, going fuck. there and I didn't. It didn't. Uh, okay. Now I'm grateful I didn't. Uh, <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was just kidding with that before I get a text. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Steve, are you ready? We have an example no. of a piece of production that we think is close to it. Yes. Oh, He's okay. Mama Bear now. All right, here we go. Yeah. This is Steve as the German guy. Get an Opie and Anthony Wow sticker. This is not one of them. Hello, I am selling no, Wow stickers on Craigslist. Uh, Please buy a four thousand dollars American to a numbered account in Zurich, and I'll happily send you a Wow sticker, shiny and new. I have a friend in the shipping industry, so shipping won't be a problem. Why is it a gay German? Yeah, no, that's not. But that's not a new German guy. 
It's not oh, New German who's guy. that guy? That's old that German was, guy. Uh, that was old German guy. Uh, that was uh, Val Kilmer from The Saint. Yeah. <laughs> that was, oh, uh, it's early. Oh, it's, it's so early. early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck's going on right now. This is just really bizarre. <laughs> uh, uh, movie lines, yeah. This German guy is just it's not, but that's not him. God damn it! I can't find him. <laughs> oh my like god! Clear this set. He'll right. probably come out if you talk Save. like that guy. Why don't you go in the production room and push record and then like? Yeah, give on. me a minute. Oh. Was it was it more of a? No, it was not like that. It was not uh, like Steve from Bayshore when he no. talks like. That's more German. We need some. So, Steve, who's the character that walks around asking people if they like the big dick? <laughs> That's more of a Guido Sarducci. That's more of, hey, oh. you like the big dick, eh? <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. And you just go around and ask people that? Uh, what no, the fuck that happens when we go home? No. It's not even in production. <laughs> That's the it's question. Just in meetings, or we're back in the office, and he's just asking us that. That's yeah. the voice in his head asking him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. No. I just said it one day, and I figured it sounded like Guido Sarducci, and and then I couldn't figure. <laughs> Out why, I just like how they all out. have like this, <laughs> they do impressions. <laughs> basically, they're like four second impressions. Yeah, basically they have was, nothing to them. Basically, There's three basi words. <laughs> basically, yeah. Steve's saying to himself, it's not gay if you have multiple personalities. Yes, right. right. If you're blowing a guy with a German accent, you're Correct. not really gay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not like, it's like it's like Guido start douchey. <laughs> Yeah. But um, <laughs> ah, I guess yeah. yeah, he we went go. there too many times. I know. John Leguizamo. And um. We also have Roland in studio. Uh, Roland, I know you're wearing the Bruce Springsteen shirt. That's terrific. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band shirt he's got on. And I will say it again, the most overplayed and overrated artist. One of the most in, in rock history. <laughs> Did you see him? He, he kind of put his hand out at you and went, I disagree. <laughs> Why don't you defend Bruce Juice? Well, I mean, to me, it's like the greatest band ever. I mean, Bruce wrote Born to Run at 24 years old. So he did tell about his middle age stories with his friends. His what? About his stories, because Jimmy said like you didn't know about his like. Answer upbringing. that. Oh. Yeah, I said that. I like two songs by him, and Pink Cadillac is not one of them. Pink Cadillac, from down the street, from the man, Jersey. What? That's a rare song in concert, though. Oh, so you, yeah. you have to see him like ten nights, and they'll hear it once. Really? That, that's great. So why should we like Bruce Ten Bruce? nights. Jesus, the because, guy can't sell I mean, out places. Though. Defend your hero. You, you saw him how many times on the last 70, tour? Oh, the last tour, I saw him 22 times. 22 times? Saw him eight why? times this tour. Did, did you, you, did you take your top off? <laughs> no. <laughs> good you're not using your connection in the business. <laughs> well, yeah. Wait, you saw him eight times when he was in New York alone? Yeah, well, this tour, though, and his rehearsal shows and that. And I heard a number that was coming out of his mouth right 70, before that. Yeah, how many times, times have you seen him total? 78 times total. 78, 78, 78. times. And I'll go to the rumored 15 nights in Jersey this summer. Every night you'll 15? go? Yeah, every night I'll go. You'll go to 15 nights. Why would you do that? Because each night's different. He does, like, different set lists. Like, eight to nine different songs each night. And then he'll make special T-shirts Different night stories one, about factories. <laughs> yeah, yeah. About, about working class guys and the Jersey Shore. Yes, but, well, I mean, there, he doesn't have any opening bands you know because he doesn't need it, and he just hops on. No one's buying this working class guy anymore. I, I, I picture after a Bruce Springsteen show that he goes back to his mansion like Batman used to go back to his lair. Well, yeah. Like, you but it's all underground <laughs> freaking tunnels and stuff. Cause Clarence he drives him home. Because he doesn't want, <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't want, he doesn't want his fans of real, you know, knowing where he actually actually lives yeah, in a gated community in a massive takes off mansion. His, takes off his working class jeans. <laughs> right. Puts on some slacks. Yeah. Takes out a pipe. Well, he signs <laughs> autographs for the fans. So. Does oh, he? does he? So is everyone famous? So. What else does he do? Wave at them through the car? No, he points at you. <laughs> uh, uh, has he ever pointed at you? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> After the ninth night, he's having security. <laughs> looking yeah. At he's like, hey, uh, security. <laughs> Who's the Hawaiian chick staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> Samoan. <laughs> so, Roland, don't, doesn't it lose its luster by like? I mean, I'm a Sabbath freak. No, but I couldn't see them 15 nights in a row. No, by the sixth night, don't you like? All right, you're going. You're just as excited. Yes. Do you cry the last night? No, I just get misty eyed because he does Jersey Girl the very last night. Oh, good. Thank God he saves that Jersey one. Jersey Girl. Yeah. So you, at the 15th <laughs> night, so you go. Ah, oh, finally. Oh, what's Jesus. what's that song about? A working class girl in Jersey well, who blew somebody in a factory. Girl. Yeah. What? <laughs> Jersey, I don't even know Jersey Girl. It's Tom Waits' song. It's a cover. Oh, good. You were, um, 
You were a 30 Rock this morning? No, that, that was a while, oh, no, a while, while ago. A while ago? Okay. Yeah. The 30 at Rock at 5 a.m. to watch him. You could have said, like, at some point, uh, E-Rock, uh, write down it wasn't today. Yeah. At 5 a.m. Yeah. For the Today Show. Yeah. That's yeah, like, Bruce was playing the Today Show, so you okay. went and got there at 5 in the morning to watch him. Yes, to watch right him. Uh, yeah. That's you're right in the front. That's Did you have a sign? Yeah. I love you, Bruce. No, I had a special pass. I could blow by people. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Did you get to meet him? Yeah. <laughs> you... <laughs> You've met Bruce before? How Three many times. times? Three. Three. And uh, did he remember you? Uh, yes, because he said, I look unique. <laughs> 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 also, while we have Roland in here, because we got to get to Joel McHale from the soup. Oh, God. Uh, we hear you do the best Steve impression. Uh, so, I don't know. I just right, hold do. on. Let me get the noise for everybody again. But so, we all do the noise around the office, you know, this. But we're hearing you do the best one. Uh, I go, ah! I'm just doing right now. <laughs> what did he just do? Ah! I'm just doing right now at everybody. Seriously, Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I got the DCs. <laughs> <laughs> he does these in person. Uh, Anthony's got this great idea to do a webcam house. Broom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, turn his chateau into something everyone could check out 24 hours a day. Webcams. Online. I want to get uh, a bunch of chicks. Well, just uh, to fill the house up, kind of fill it out. Maybe bunk beds. Yeah. And a couple of the rooms, some cams set up, uh, pull out back. Right. And, uh,. Yeah, people take a peer in on uh, on uh, what's going on. Well, I think this is the official promo. Steve and oh. Derek have come up with the official promo to get the girls for the webcam yeah, house. Wait. All right. Young ladies, specifically ladies between the ages of 18 and 19, are you ready for the adventure of your life? Yay! Well, come to Anthony Cumia's Magic Mansion. I want to go to Anthony's Magical Mansion. I want to go to Anthony's Magical Mansion. As you pass from room to room, the magic of Anthony's millions will begin to consume you. Wow, look at that chandelier. Let's get topless. Wow, look at all the guns. Let me just slip out of this skirt. Yay, he's got a swimming pool. Bye-bye, panties. Anthony's Magical Mansion. Eventually, your worries and your problems will disappear, along with your memory, your clothes, and any identification you brought with you. Your Magic Mansion experience will come to an abrupt end at roughly 4 a.m. the next day when you wake up in pain on the floor and you realize where you are and what you've done. What the f*** are those lampshades made out of? Oh my god, it's people! Anthony's lampshades are made out of people! People! If you'd like to spend time at Anthony's Magic Mansion, call 1-800-ROHYPNOL. That's 1-800-ROHYPNOL today. Anthony's Magical Mansion, where are my clothes? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Steve would say, clothes. <laughs> clothes. <laughs> Is there any way we can isolate him just saying clothes? I turn into Steve at the end of that one. Like, at first, it's just, yeah, I get the cams, girls. I yeah, don't yeah. think I've no, ever I... slipped anyone a roofie. Yeah. Or have girls waking up in pain like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's hysterical. I got a problem with that. Clothes. What is it, the four hour time run? <laughs> <laughs> I got clothes. a problem. Yes, yeah, clothes. I got, a, I got a different problem with the uh, Anthony's Magic Mansion promo. Yes. <laughs> Anybody want to guess? Um, um, the fact that there are, of course, injured women in it somehow. Well, the actresses playing the 18 and 19 year olds sound like 30 year old office workers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Steve, Steve walked, uh, walked where are through the, the, where are the lisps. <laughs> Steve walked through the cubicles trying to find broads for his promo. The one girl's like, I want to be in Anthony's Mansion. I want to be there. <laughs> you dumb. <laughs> <laughs> right. Actually, was, uh, huh? I think the girls that lent their vocal abilities to that was uh, the cake farter and her sister. Oh, really? Oh, oh, really? They sound a little old to be playing 18 or 19 Yeah, what else. the hell? It what? took me out of your promo. Yeah, I mean. Listen, I, here, just listen how old they are in the beginning here. Young ladies, specifically ladies between the ages of 18 and 19, are you ready for the adventure of your life? Yay! 18 or 19. Welcome to Anthony Cumia's Magic Good Mansion. There. I want to go to Anthony's Magical Mansion. I want to go to Anthony's Magical Mansion. 
As you pass from room to room, the magic of Anthony's millions will begin to consume you. Wow, look at that chandelier. Wow, oh, look, look at that, that chandelier, chandelier Daddy. <laughs> 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 and, and that was the best take of four, I believe. <laughs> well, they, did they have their clothes on? Look yes, at that chandelier. Did. Let's get topless. Yes, uh, wow, look at all the guns. Let me just slip out of this skirt. Yay, he's got a swimming pool. Bye-bye panties. I love Anthony's Magical Mansion. Eventually, your worries and your problems will disappear, along with your memory, your clothes, and any identification <laughs> you... Clothes. Your clothes. Who talks like that? Clothes. -ing. Clothes. -ing. clothes. He's got to pronounce every <laughs> word perfect. <laughs> clothes. Enunciating James. Oh, now that in a world guy is uh, dead, you might have a shot out there. Oh, yeah. Movie in a, trailer Steve, uh, I'm thinking. In a world where everyone has clothes. Clothes. <laughs> have you seen my clothes? Yes. They're snug lately. <laughs> <laughs> my clothes. clothes. It's enunciation, Jane. <laughs> yeah, I'm enunciating. Oh, yeah. yeah, you are. Yeah. Uh -huh. Clothes. I'm getting the words out there. I know. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's, it's not uh, ironic that improv is only one letter away from improve. <laughs> Clothes. <laughs> oh, what should I have said? Close. 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 Yeah. Does it yeah. close the door? Close. No, it doesn't take your clothes off, biatch. Doesn't matter how it's spelled. Ah. Yeah, Everyone it's says talk. it close. Leave the regionalism to the people who are, you know, you know, in, no, but in, in the thing. Region, I agree with that, but clothes <laughs> is not is not rejecting regionalism. Clothes <laughs> is mispronouncing something like a uh, psychopath. Right. <laughs> No one says that anywhere in the country. There's no, there's no one who's like shedding regionalism who will say, "Well, I want to be able to do the news anywhere, so I will say a woman was found without her clothes." <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard to believe you're that worldly, that you that 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 well nobody said. else in the country. Yeah, exactly. That nobody else in the country would say that. But you know, no, I I, I am that worldly. Are you kidding me? I do gigs all over from Boston, do... sold out to Stress Factory on sale now. Nice, oh, nice. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> nice. I like that. Oh. Oh, yes. Is that nice? That is called gratuitous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go to break with uh, the Steve Happy We're going song. to Briac. Yeah. <laughs> I want to shed my regionalism op <laughs> op <I> -E. <laughs> Here's Steve's happy song as we take a break. Terrible. I'm sorry. Well, coming or going? Let's get Steve. Oh, back that's in here. right. Martini Steve. Where's Steve? Has to make his uh, entrance back into the studio. There, there he is. is. Oh, that is really loud. Yeah, that was loud. Yeah, huh? you could crank which one that are, down which a little one are bit. Which one are you? Let me try it again. Go ahead. All right, I think All right, it's ready? this one. Yeah. Martini Steve. That's perfect. Okay. Hi, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hi, Jim. All right, so what do we got again? Because we have short-term memory on gotcha. the show. You have a series of random clips on a mm -hmm. on a CD right there in front of you. Some are from horror movies. Some are from porno movies. Yeah. You have to guess which is which. Is it all girls getting murdered? No. Oh. oh. So it's just murder scenes. Uh, uh, that could be, could be uh, a girl screaming because they're getting a, a knife in them or hacked up with a machete or a drill bit through the back. And yeah, can you describe right. each scene or not really? 
See, that would have been cool, too. What do you mean? Like, if, after if, we've uh, guessed and then we find the answer, you could tell us, well, yeah. in this scene, the girl is yes. getting, you know, a, you know, a big yeah, color. I was, I was up all night picking through porn and, and horror movies. All right. Mm, trying to uh, find this stuff. So, yeah, I could tell you exactly what's I right, want to do the first clip. Let's hear the first clip. This is coming or going. Coming or going. we got to guess if they're being killed or they're having an orgasm. Jesus. Now, now that might seem obvious. You might say to yourself, well, that's got to be a murder. Uh, but you never know because I know I heard one clip that Steve uh, played for me of a girl getting, uh, what was it, anal for the first time? Yeah. And and she's screaming. I swear it sounded like someone was killing her. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the beauty of so the game. So you exactly. just don't know. You yeah. really just I say we go around the room and see who's who's better at this game, okay? okay. Kind of like uh, what's in my pants. All right. Can I hear it again? All right. Hold on a minute. Pot it up. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> if that's <laughs> sex, it's even better. <laughs> I'm going to say sex just because I want it to be. <laughs> All right. Jimmy? I'm going to say that's a girl getting it in the ass. I'm going to say that's a murder. All right. Wait. Mm. Sex. Yeah. I'm saying coming. No, I'm saying coming too, man. That's that's sex. Coming. And Jim says going. Yeah, murder. Um, should we go right to Steve or play? The, we'll go to Steve, find out the answer, and then we'll play the clip. All right. All right. Steve, coming or going? Going. Oh, that is a murder. Oh, that's okay. a murder. I was hoping it was going to be. Oh, no. All right, let's hear that. This is a murder. <laughs> See, to scream, to scream that long, your eyes have to be open wide. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a pleasant scream. <laughs> Uh, it tapers no. off with a nice, you know knife, knife in the yeah. stand. I was just hoping. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I got to find that snuff film. Oh, remember that snuff film we had? Actually, I destroyed. I didn't one. think it was real though. Was I it? I don't know. Sure it snuff films. I, I don't real. know, man. I don't know. I know there was a dead guy film. Well, that's all right. Well, Steve, what movie was that from? Before we go off on another tangent, <laughs> that was that was Friday the Thirteenth Part Four. Oh. Uh, nurse gets pinned up against wall by her neck and impaled. Yeah, nice. I remember that yes. scene. Good nice. One. I don't mm -hmm. remember that one. I have this friend Buzzy who collected a lot of videotapes and things like that. He's got he was the first one that had the Bud Dwyer video, by the way. Ooh. Yeah, it was great. Because he worked in TV. This was way before the internet and all that crap. So when this stuff happened, you know, you had to be in TV to get a nice copy. Yeah, where did you get stuff like that? You had to be in TV and they would trade the you know tapes uh, with each other. Now we get everything just like that. But this in, was the in a day, second. It was it was unbelievable when you got mm -hmm. to see stuff like this. So he I guess they, they had the Bud Dwyer um, video of the the guy from the the con what was he a politician in uh, PA I, yeah, yeah. that in yeah. live uh, news conference he blows his uh, brains out very famous video and then these sick f's that worked in TV they got the the video and then made a rap video out of it remember yeah they they put rap music to it and then would play it forward and backwards real quick so it looked like he was dancing and, <laughs> it, and his hair would flip up to the hip hop beat <laughs> it was great it was really funny really great. So Buzzy put together like a best of tape of all sorts of crazy crap that they collected in the newsroom, and uh, explain the one. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we were watching like... we were watching a video, uh, one of the videos on it, and it was it would be, you know porno. It started like porno. It was a close up of a, of a guy's junk and a girl's hand, and they were sitting on a couch, and the girl is uh, kind of working the guy, and he's not kind of feeling it because uh, it was pretty limp, but she's just working him. And then uh, they start zooming out slowly, no, 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 no. and she, well, okay, as, they're, okay. as they're zooming I'm out, I'm she's sorry. taking her hand and getting a little rough with him. You know, she's kind of pulling on his testes and his bag, and uh, 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 she starts twisting a little like bit. Like a doorknob. Just a little twisting. bit. Twisting. A little bit. And then as they're panning back more and more, she twists until w one point I look and went, did she just go all the way around with that? Yeah. And she did. She had gone a complete 360 with his ball bag. Uh, and his balls looked like they were going to just pop out of pop the sack. Pop out of the sack. So she goes around once and now she starts lifting his ass off the couch by his ball sack. And they're turning like wicked colors. If I may, you know, <laughs> yeah. give a tribute to Boston today. Wicked. Uh, and then... Another turn around, two complete turns, and lifts him off the couch by the sack. And the guy isn't even twitching. Unless they zoom out and get a full view, you realize the guy's dead. 
He's a dead guy on the couch with this woman manipulating his genitalia. It's the sickest oh. thing, man. His eyes are all hazed over and glazed barely open, little uh, slit. Th his th mouth th is th a little open. The X's, like yeah, in, the X's in, on in him. Cartoons. But he was he was dead. I don't know if it was taken in a funeral parlor or something. Maybe they, you know, decided to do that or the guy had OD'd and they figured they'd take the camcorder out. <laughs> I don't know what the situation was, but the guy was dead. Dead. Yeah. And, and this was part of this He's dead, dead video. Dead. Oh, my God. We got to play that today. <laughs> Holy yes. What? Play what? Bill? Hmm? We got to turn the new show on to Oh, Bill. God. I don't even think. Uh, what a cringe moment that was. All right. I got to find that. Bill? Well, well, let's continue with our game then. Yes. I'm sorry. Coming or going. So we're up to the second clip here. Yes. Let's hear the second clip. Trying to figure out if uh, this person is getting murdered or having an orgasm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, that's easy. That's okay, pretty easy. On. All right, I'll start. Right, that. I'll, I'll give you I'll, that one. I'll start. That's sex. Yeah, that's sex. Sex. Jimmy, yeah, I'll take the same risk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. that's an even money one right there. Is she being killed? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Steve. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you got it. That was yeah. one of the easy ones. <laughs> I like the ominous music. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting fucked, bitch. Yeah. Can, you, uh, can you tell us a little something about that clip? Or? That's uh, that's uh, that's from a DVD called Full Anal Access. Mm. Wow. There's and a, that's exactly what was happening. <laughs> she yeah. was She's being double. raped by Tor Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> well, a woman, a man his size would have trouble anally raping a girl without bumping into walls. <laughs> Jimmy's in the lead here. Are we ready for clip three? Clip three. Coming or going? Shut God! Is that a oh, guy? Wow. Yeah, that's not, that's a better one. All right. All right. Who know, now, now that could go either way. Can we hear that again, sweetie? No. Angel! I, I all right, please. This is too obvious. Shut God! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and and say that uh, Steve doesn't own any gay porn. <laughs> yeah. So that's got to be a murder. Wow. I think the rhythmic uh, moaning on it. Um, I don't know. That would lead me to believe that maybe Steve doesn't own that. But Foundry Music being the smut capital of uh, the world. Yeah, we truly are smut peddlers. What happened? There's probably a way he can hook up and, and get that. So I'm going to say Maybe. that is a guy taking it up the ass. Um, I mean, it, it's, 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 it's hot like a lot of the clips of guys taking it in the ass. <laughs> it's, but I'm going to say it's a murder. All right. Oh, there's another choice oh, wait, wait, that I think it could be. Yeah. What? Yeah, a Yankee fan. <laughs> 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 All right, Jim says murder. You say sex, Ed? Yeah, I'm saying that's some uh, hardcore gay sex. All right, Steve. That is murder. Oh, damn. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That is uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new one. Guy oh. gets leg cut off with chainsaw. Ooh, nice one. God. God. Oh. Is that the one that uh, that girl from, what, Seventh Heaven? Yeah. Is that the show? Yep. She is a fantastic Isn't in that she? movie. She's wearing a T-shirt. And, so uh, through with blood yeah. and sweat. It's all oh, fantastic. It's a wife beater, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know who took me out of it in that movie, movie was Arlie Ermey. I love yeah, him so yeah. much, but I can't be scared watching it him. Was, you know something? It added a little humor to it that yeah. I think the original uh, Chainsaw Massacre had in its own little way. It's kind of funny to watch. So him being in that was kind of cool. And I love anything he's in. I don't care. Miss, he's you ever seen Mississippi Burning? Yeah. He was the greatest. Yes. He's, he's, he's amazing. Thank you, love Chris it. Farley. Why? Jeez. That was awesome. That was awesome. Hey, he was the greatest. When you were in the in, that in the movie? bathroom and <laughs> no, yeah, you're Private right. Pile shot you, did that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> I met Pesci outside the uh, comedy cellar one night. Kevin James introduced me for a picture, and my Kevin one... James. Yes, I you're know throwing for names around. Name well, no, nah, but I know Kevin for years before. Um, and I met Pesci, and I wanted to have like a moment with him, and I should have quoted JFK. Or, and I'm such a nothing. I went, dude, I'm a big fan. And I wanted to spit my own face. Said. That's what you say to this Everyone guy. Everyone says that. Every fat girls who've never right. seen a film he did. I'm a big fan. They saw Jimmy Hollywood once. <laughs> That's what I say. I'm a big fan. Ugh. Put your fist in my little mouth. You choked. Uh, yeah, I should have yeah. said something about whose wig was that in JFK? An enigma <laughs> wrapped in a riddle? Something. Something. Something Dr. everyone Patty's doesn't here? give them.
Hey, stalker Patty. Uh, did she bring a gift? I don't know. Her first visit to the, to the new Opie and Anthony Look show. She's looking Sitting there. What contemplative. She? Yeah. She looks uh, really nervous. All right. Look, look at how long her hair is. Yeah, and her Aussie glasses. God, we have been go. off the air a really long time. Because we cut our hair just before we got fired. We shaved our head right before we got fired, and she hasn't cut it since. And it's uh, down to, what, the, her shoulder blades? Yeah, she yeah. looks like one of the Ramones. <laughs> Mopey Ramon. <laughs> Mopey Ramon. <laughs> she's laughing. I guarantee she has no idea. No, what she's that fifteen means. seconds behind. Okay. Coming or going, here's clip four. Uh Jim is uh three for three so far. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, good. A single scream. Okay. A single scream. That's a little different. Yeah, yeah. Single scream. Anthony? I, I, I need it one more time. All right. Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Oh. Got the music at first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Again, I want it to be sex so bad. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to say sex. Okay, Jimmy? Uh, I heard a little uh, in the beginning of it, so I'm also going to say sex. Ooh. It's it's sex. It has to be. I'll say sex, too. Uh, Steve? That's murder. Wow. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's murder. Don't tell. Was that first gasp a gasp of surprise? <gasps> like, that, yeah. That's yeah. Right. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is that from? It's again from Texas Chainsaw, the new one. The girl walks into the uh, the Hewitt family basement and knifes her friend who is hanging up on a meat hook. Right, right. Look at Steve right. all excited. Yeah. I can't wait until he goes, is that sex or murder? And he goes, it's both. <laughs> we can all whack our bags on the console. <laughs> all right, clip five. Mm. Coming or going? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, Steve. <laughs> All right, that's a little obvious. Yeah, let's go to let's go to Jimmy first. I'm gonna say um, it's murder, but with a big black cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Anthony. Very good, sex. Yeah, yeah sex yeah. across the board that's again here. Kind of... Yeah, that was one of the obvious. That was, I think, that was one of my first attempts. <laughs> well, right. Can we hear that again? Yeah. Hold on. Just this is just this once. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no one's ever died like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, you have stomach cancer. Oh, 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 oh. Jimmy has four. I have three, and Anthony has two. Yeah. Here's the next clip. Coming or going? All right. Wow. <laughs> Getting a little easier. That's murder. God. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to guess that Steve and his apparently two DVDs, <laughs> <laughs> if it's not anal intruders, it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that was a, uh, Jesus. So, first of all, for the next contest, can we get this? Get him a blockbuster video card? Well, that's the scene in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The new one. You know, right. is it sex? I don't know. There's a chainsaw noise. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was a murder, I believe. Oh, murder across the board. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's murder, right? Yeah. yeah. Steve, Jesus. <laughs> that is what, really what funny. That <laughs> Take a wild guess. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Steve stinks. <laughs> no, no, you know, I, I, I did uh, I did pull from a bunch of movies, but I was so punchy when I actually had to randomize them. That, I, that is really funny. Yeah, put them, put them in <laughs> alphabetical order. <laughs> yeah. All right, now it's uh, Jimmy Five. I got four. Anthony has three. Here's the next clip. Coming or going? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, well. You know, hmm. I don't like Steve's uh, look like that. Uh, He's trying to throw you. I know he is with his awful expressions. What's wrong, Ben? It smells funny again. Oh, I just something something slipped out. I got excited. Oh, All right. <laughs> I yeah. get excited when the, the clips are playing. Sometimes a little bubble comes out. I All right. Sprayed the mic. So Anybody want to hear that one again? I'd love to. Hope thanks. Yeah, let's hear it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah, sex. Sex. Yeah. Yeah, sex. All right. 
I want to try to tie this up. I'm going with murder. Oh, I'm taking long a gamble. shot. I'm taking, well, I got to agree with that. It's sex. I'm taking sex. a gamble here, Steve. Sex. It is sex. Damn it! You got to try to tie it up, but sometimes you on the obvious, to. you got to go with the. Yeah. Uh, All right. That's so. Don't worry, Opie. You can't. You can't drop four in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Never happens. Yeah, that's sex. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Don't worry. Jim has six. Anthony has four. It's impossible. I have four. Yeah. She's having her vagina caved in by David Ortiz. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're up to the next clip. What movie was that in? That was uh, Throat Yogurt. Throat Yogurt. Oh. I have that. That's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. You took that one home. You bet I you did. You know something? Steve I'll give it came to in. Order. Yeah, please. Give me some throat yogurt. What's some throat yogurt? <laughs> Steve came in uh, the other day, and he puts down a stack of DVDs, some porno, and um, they were gone in two seconds. I figured as much. I, got, I, 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 have to, I have to plan when I deliver them. I have a shipment for you guys from Yoshi. He works for Evil Angel, which is the biggest <gasps> porn company. Yeah. Look Ooh. at Steve. He's like, what are you going off for? Relax, That's Steve. great. Evil Angel? Yeah. yeah but Yoshi baby. wants me to give you guys a stack, so I will give you porn. Whatever, whatever you want. If there's any tranny porn in there, give it to me. I'll ship it right back. <laughs> right, right. You'll get rid of it. Now, Evil Angel there's is... Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right. Here's some. There we are. Oh, this is a boy, Ben. Thank you, Ben. A couple of these. Uh, Which one? Some of the titles, Anthony? Uh, full Anal Access Volume 4. All right. Because there are so many uh, unanswered Chavez. questions in number three. That's right. And yes. their slug on this one, nonstop ass pounding. All right. <laughs> That's good. This one, uh, blow it out of your ass. Okay. Watch these girls really blow it out of their ass while they take that big dick up their ass. <laughs> don't just don't kill the ending for me. <laughs> uh, wow, Riot Sluts, Volume One. Her first interracial scene, Ariana Jolie. She's a slave to black cock. I love her. She has really big vag lips. She's so sexy, Ariana, Ari, mm -hmm. Ariana Jolie. I the want riot that. has begun is the uh, slug right. for that one. Can I see that one? And sexy Euro girls number two, Thanks, baby. Melissa Lauren and Mandy Bright. Insatiable European nymphs take it in the rear. And then there's a whole slew of girls and guys that are in this one. Frank Gunn. Oh, my God. They're trying to say that Cheryl Teagues is the ageless woman. She's on Fox News Channel right now. She looks good there, but she's not she ageless. She looks awful at the Donald Trump um, roast. A lot of Wait, is that movie about some sort of, like, illegal stalking? They're bringing things in the back door? What is that? No, um, I'll, I'll sum it up for you. On the back, it says, these insatiable beauties are hung hungry for cock. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. They leave it vague for you to so figure out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Girls from Ukraine, France, and Hungary join for a furious fuck fest. <laughs> I'm sure you come as they come. Enjoy Steve Holmes. Steve Holmes production. Oh, all right. Yeah. Kind of like Steve C. Back, yeah. to, back to the game? Wow, look at, oh, what? look at this animal pounding this blonde. Look at that. That is. Oh. Lucky girl. Mm -hmm. That's terrible. <laughs> Oh, this guy's... Oh, I get to uh, blow it out of your ass and full anal access? You can also have oh, sexy hey, hey, girls, too. Hey, 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 hey. Blow oh, it out hey. your ass. That, that blow it out of your ass is, is, is a collector's item. That it is, is. It you is. You can't find those anywhere. Why? Is that because where... I, you know, for whatever reason, these things go out of print because... Is that, what, is that one of those bubble videos? Bubble videos. No, 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 no. This is actually... The, I took the, I took a clip from that of uh, Jasmine St. Clair getting a, firing a flame from a butane torch out of her ass, made a tiny little 15-second clip maybe <laughs> four years ago. It got sent all over the internet and back again, and I haven't been able to find another copy of that since. Why I would you this. want that, though? I don't like anything coming out of the ass. I, it, it's, it's, it's just novelty. You I'm, but I'm not into stuff. novelty sexually. No. I don't like anything goofy. You know, funny, wacky things in the dumper. Ugh, no. Nothing. You don't like goofy. You you like girls taking dumps on. What's goo? Who's laughing when that's happening? <laughs> who's who's elbow ribbon? You're just laying down there. You're whacking off, taking it like a man. It's quite funny when she has a lot of fiber and it just bounces off your chest, and you have to put it back on there. <laughs> or believe me, when she's had no fiber, that can be a real disaster. <laughs> if there's anything that kills her mood, believe me, it's Mount St. Helens all over your chest. I love how they're it's trying a, to sell it's these. It's a paintball accident on your chest. <laughs> these DVDs with special features. Yeah. It says bonus footage. Yeah. Isn't just... bonus footage in a porno disc just more porno? No, they do behind the scenes stuff. Now they says, give you like another camera angle. But they say behind the scenes and then bonus footage is a separate thing. Yeah. I think bonus footage is just more smut. Well, yeah. Photo shoot, cum shot recap. Yeah. What is that? So those guys that get off on just watching guys blow nuts. It's just money yeah. shots. Yeah. Just so you can just see the money shots. 
Director's bio. Who that cares? you're going to want to see. Uh, web access, Mac and PC compatible, all region coding, and digital have, stereo sound. Do they have Easter eggs? There's probably some Easter eggs on here, all yeah. Right. yeah. And in the bonus section, it says, um, like, meet the stepfather that drove her into this profession. <laughs> 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 got a beard. Uh, are we get, let's get back to coming or going. What do you say? All right. We only have, what, 15 more clips to go? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 like 10, 10, 10. Oh, that's 10. All right. Ten. They get better. One, they two, get better. three, four, five. Let's see if there's any surprises in any of those. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here's uh, coming or going. Okay. Murder or sex? <laughs> uh -oh. oh, okay. All right. That's that kind of tough. All right. Game on. That's a little tough. Game on. Anyone want to hear it again? I'd love to hear it again. All right. Game on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got it. Me too. I so got you do. It. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Jimmy. Sex. Hmm. I'm gonna put Brown out there and say murder. Oh, you lose so bad. It's sex. You could hear the. Oh. oh. No, you could hear the skin on skin. You can hear the pounding if you listen closely. What? Yeah. Let me hear. Before we go to Steve, listen for the pounding at the very beginning. <laughs> That could uh, be a knife going yeah. into her chest. Oh, no. Yeah. That, it's sex. That, that might have been a tool. Uh, Steve? Murder. Yes! Oh, no! Nice! Which Friday the 13th was it? it was, I can't remember. Was it, whichever Friday the 13th. I thought you dubbed in that music. That was just there? That was there. I recognize the music. I'm like, oh, couldn't man. Exactly. No, don't go by the music. Don't go that's, by the music. Because that's I had where to... he's trying to throw us off. Exactly. I'm dubbing yeah, in he's music. Throwing in music. He's, he's right. throwing in the music. So. Oh, wow. I pull. Ooh, nice. Right. Girl in rap gets good. knifed. I, yeah. I got to run. So this is murder. Let's hear it again. <laughs> What's uh, happening to her there? She's getting, uh, it's a girl in a life raft getting a knife jammed through her back. See, there you go. I thought that's it, what this All right, so I was right. Sex. It sounded like a scene <laughs> from uh, Throat Yogurt. <laughs> yeah, it could have been. All right, here we go. We got Jimmy, uh, one, two, three, four, six. Anthony, five. Making yeah, a comeback. Making and a I comeback. Stink. I hope it's falling into the turlet. I really am. Here's uh, clip number nine. <laughs> All right, that, that's that's throat yogurt, you idiot. That's sex. Oh, it's pretty obvious. That's yeah. sex across across the board. Sex, yes. Yeah, sex. Sex. Damn. All right, I thought I, I thought I mixed it pretty well. All right, yeah, that was uh, that was riot sluts. That was a girl getting blasted with a newspaper with a ball gag in her mouth. Ooh. Oh. Ariana Jolie loves to be gagged, too. She's a good girl, man. <laughs> I saw a scene... Well, whatever. All right, very good. We all got that one. Here's the next clip. <laughs> oh. That's tough. That's tough because that could be... You know, Gosh, girl... it sounds like she's crying. How yeah. hot would that be? Oh, very. Anthony, it's to you. I'm going to have to hear that again. I agree. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's a toughie. She's crying. So it could either be she's anticipating getting murdered or she's getting that first big uh, big one up the keister. I'm going to say sex. Sex? Yeah. All right. Jimmy? I will also say sex because... It, the anticipation of murder can't be one of the clips. It's murder or sex. So to me, that has to be something has to be happening, and that sounds like sex. I have to. I, I have to gamble again. So I don't like the way gonna, you're trying to creep up to the top. You're saying murder. Well, that's the only way I'm going to come back. Good point. Game, I'm going to go with uh, murder. Steve. Murder. Oh, yeah! Wow. How is she being killed? Wow. I think she was uh, getting strangled in one of the Halloween movies. Oh, I didn't think of strangulation. Strangulation. She's silly me. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is from the Lifetime movie, the Jean Benet Ramsey story. <laughs> All right. You, you hear the little kaduk as the cowboy hat hits the floor? <laughs> it makes a kaduk sound? Yeah, kaduk as the little stiff brim hits the floor. We got a couple more. It's Does a... that little roll on the floor like when you drop a dime on a counter? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the 
little <laughs> of the duct tape and the and the little shush 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 of the ransom note being written. We are from a foreign group. <laughs> Worst written ransom note ever. Ever. I am not a member of the Ramsey family. What? <laughs> Jesus. Idiot investigators in Colorado. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Who put the black and white porn up on the uh, TV? No, that's Puff Daddy. With oh, it's P. Diddy with... Uh, Kelly Ripa. Kelly Ripa. Okay. For Regis Sorry. Today. I thought it was that uh, Riot Sex. No, no. It's... Oh, Riot Sluts. Riot Sluts. Uh, riot Sluts. Yes. <laughs> that's right, uh, Kelly. We have a Riot Sluts covered in today. Coming or going? Here's the next clip. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> it's a game now. <laughs> Oh, that's a toughie too. I'm gonna have it's, to hear that. It kind of sounds obvious, but I don't. One mm. more time. One more time. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh. I'm gonna go sex. Yeah, I will too. Hmm. Uh, your pen doesn't work? No. Yeah, perhaps. Can't borrow mine, Ope! Perhaps if you didn't tap them incessantly. Yeah. You clogged it. I was just trying to get on Ope's good side. Here, take mine! <laughs> <laughs> take my pen! Alright, sex. Anthony? Uh, I gotta hear it again. Really? Now, yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, sex. Jimmy? Damn it. I said sex. Oh, you did? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. I was trying to get the pen. I said. Let's go. I said. Steve? Murder. Oh, and I was going to go with murder. Are you well, serious? Well, there's only two yep. options. What Damn is that it. from? It's uh, <laughs> from <clears throat> <laughs> Halloween H2O. She gets uh, killed coming out of a dumbwaiter. Girl gets killed coming out of a dumbwaiter. What kind Damn of, it. How did she get killed? Uh, Michael Myers knifed her. <laughs> that sounded... Oh. That sounded oh, like porno. None of us got that. Damn one. it! I like to wear sweaters. All right, let's get through this stupid game. Here's the next clip. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'll say. Oh wow! I gotta hear that again. Me too. Oh, so I don't even know what it was. It sounded like. Um... <laughs> the hell there's something going on there it almost sounded like a gurgle yeah it sounds like someone's raping chaka from land of the lost <laughs> <laughs> is that an answer all right uh i guess we go to jimmy first here i'll have to go with uh murder you are now a murderer little alex i'll say it's a murder your victim has died <laughs> antonio hmm you know i should go with my first instinct they say um, that's usually right. I'm saying sex. I'm going to say um, sex as well. Damn it. Come on, go with murder. No, because I think that's some throat yogurt again. Yeah, I'll say what you want. Sex. Yeah! yeah! All right. Yeah. Now we got a game. All right, now, now we're moving we up on Jimmy. What? Sex. That was, uh, that's from uh, that Riot Sluts movie, and a uh, girl. it's a girl-on-girl uh, thing where what she one is one girl's on the ground getting choked out with a nightstick with a dildo being rammed in her throat. Oh, I like that. Yeah. What's the score, Opie? Well, uh, What's the score so far? Listen to the so clip far? as I count it up. Ooh. Ooh. From, the, from the Justin Volpe story. <laughs> <laughs> was he was he choking her and kind of moving the stick so she went? Ah, 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 yeah. Ah, <laughs> Popeye sex. Ooh. Get the nightstick skull for me. <laughs> How many clips we got left? Not many. Three. No, not many. No, no, it's, no. Uh, What's it, the score? It's tie. It can't be all tied up. I you swear, were way far behind. No, because I have took, you been cheating? I took a couple gambles there. Norton fell apart. Yeah, I really have. Tied. I really have. We all have seven. All right, sevens across the board. Ooh, I'll say. Here we go. It's this game's not as easy. I as I got you it think. in the bag now. I can just sit back and do nothing. Yeah, maybe Kevin Brown games. can guess. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next clip. Coming or going? Oh, oh God. All right, Steve. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Steve. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. Well, out of principle, I'm just, I, you know what? 
I don't even care if I'm wrong. At a principle, I'm just saying it's murder. I, I don't want to. I want to hear that again. I don't want to think that Steve could find this crap on his website. You know, it could go either way. I this understand one. that. Out of principle, I'm saying murder. I'm just saying fucking murder. Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> you want to hear it again? One yeah. More time. I don't want to, but we have to for the game's sake. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh. Oh God. Oh. 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 No. oh. oh. Oh, that's a gangbang, hmm. but I gotta say murder, man. I'm just saying... Hmm. I'm gonna say that Ben smuggled that out of Sirius when he worked there. It's wow! Our, uh... <laughs> wow, we're going there. Ooh. Wow. Uh, I think I know who that was, too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's bigger and blacker than I'd ever hoped. Uh, let's see. Anthony? I'm going to say murder. I know it's sex. I just know it. But I am also going to say murder. Really? So we're murders across the board. All right, I'm going to change my guess. Can I change no, my guess? No, now you're going to change because you're only changing it based upon our answer. Nah, you got to keep it. You got to keep it. You're locked in. It's like Jeopardy when you're right in that final answer. Steve? Kev, do you know what it is? Yeah. All right, it's, uh, it's murder. It's, uh, it is murder. It, it is. is. It's actually, wow. you know what? You Damn it, you changed your right. answer, well, Opie. No, he didn't. Like what? Damn it, we stupid. We should have made him Wait, let him let's change. Let's hear it. the clip first. Oh, Here it is. oh god. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. It doesn't sound hot. It sounds like <laughs> gay sex. It, it really did sound. I found that in uh, Halloween H two O. Adam Arkin gets uh, gets killed. Wow. And what is his buddy standing near him or Jamie something? Lee Curtis. Curtis. Oh, Lee Curtis is the other voice. Oh, Jeez, yeah. that sounded like a man's voice. Well, maybe. Well, oh, Harassed. I, I've heard that. I love it. Sure, sure. All All right. Right. Jamie. How many more clips we got? Hopefully one. No, not, not, not many. Not many. There's a couple really obvious ones at the end that I threw in there. But... All right. <laughs> You're a weird guy, Steve. Here Thank we you. go. Here's the next clip. <laughs> All right. oh, that's really tough. One more time, sweetie. All righty. Hun. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know that. All right, mm. sex. Yeah, I'm saying sex. I'm going to say sex, too. You're right. Of course I am. Yes, yeah, sex. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. wouldn't be saying, oh, yeah, if she's yeah. getting killed, first of all. Yeah, I, I, I just heard that then. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what, what movie was that from? That was Full Anal Access. Uh, of two, course was it was. Dildo scene. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. He, right. he took 30 clips off of four films. Dude, you have <laughs> any idea how hard it is to oh. find people getting killed without sound effects? All right, I apologize. Thank you, Uncle. All right, here's the next one. <laughs> Okay. Jeez. Oh, God. See, now I'm all confused, though. I, I, this is very difficult. I'm, I'm, I'm... <sighs> Come on. I'm going to say murder, even though I think she's taking a huge one. <laughs> Are you going to say murder? Yeah. Jimmy? Uh, murder. It is murder. It's another scene. You yeah. do? Was yeah, it? It, it's definitely murder because you could hear like the uh, the implement, whatever it is, the well, cleaver. Well, like, could be an implement. Like, like, like hitting wood or whatever it is, right? Wood. What yeah. is it, Jim? Um, it's murder. What, what scene, Jim? What scene? Oh, I don't know the scene. I, I said that because Probably Ant and I guessed the same thing, and I didn't want dumb Ope changing it and getting ahead of us. Oh, okay. So oh, I used reverse psychology one. to wow. get him to go with us. Gotcha. I didn't want him to guess different. Very good. Yeah, yep. that's uh, Jason Part 10. Oh, <laughs> part 10. Yes. Jason wow. 10. Jason, Jason 10. X. Yeah. Which one was that one? Jason works at the mall? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's still tied. 10, 10, 10. Jason works at the mall. What am I, a zoo crew member with that awful joke? <laughs> Which one is this? Jason flies a plane? Uh, I have uncensored access, and that's the best I can fire out. Oh, thin-lipped uh, faggot. All right, uh, <laughs> Jason has an ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the next clip. What a douche. Coming or going? Maybe we should have stopped this game at 10 clips instead of... What oh, are we it's up an to? endless What game. are we up to? No, like, we clip 30? Almost done. Almost Douche done. or <laughs> 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 Huh? 
All right, a lot of action there, whether yeah. it's murder or sex. I, uh, I'm up for sex. I'll say um, some anal, yeah. I'm going to say sex, too. That's definitely anal. What is that from Jason Gets a Smooch? <laughs> <laughs> Steve? That's sex. That's uh, that's from that blow it at your ass. That's a first-time anal scene. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, she's taking it. How many clips we got left? Two? That's it. Okay, we're all tied still. Still tied. We got to break this tie. I'll say. <laughs> wow. Wow, this could... That's really something. Wow. Sounds like someone's getting banged while Foreman hits the heavy bag. <laughs> Maybe it's Dick Sadler being raped. I'm going to go with, uh, oh, well, no, it's Anthony. Ah, <laughs> oh, hear that again. Really? I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, I... Oh, 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 I'm going to say murder. Ooh. Damn. Jimmy? I, I have to agree with uh, young Kumia. I will also say murder. I'm going for the win right oh, now. Oh, he's going for the tiebreaker. Oh, he's taking a chance on the sex. Good, he's going to knock himself right down into, alone into second place. I know. Write it down, Opie. Write it down. I see you hovering with the pen. Yeah, write, write that down. With down. I'll go there with, it goes. I'll go with... Uh, oh, man. Stop I'm, looking at Steve to see what he's doing. I know. I'm, Stop I'm it. looking at his poker you face. You bl blonde-haired vixen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sex. Murder. Yeah! That's right. Oh. Murder. Scrapes on into the basement. <laughs> One girl in sleeping bag being used to beat another girl with a, in a sleeping bag to oh, death. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. The music would have thrown you, yeah. The, the ow led me to believe it was sex because, yeah. you know, what girl getting murdered is going to go, ow. I'm so out. Ouch. All right, um, Jimmy and Anthony tied for the lead. One clip to go, hopefully. To All right. Go. All right, here's the last, last clip. clip. Tiebreaker. Coming or going? Oh, oh, oh my God, he shoved it right in my fucking ass. Oh, my God. That's fucking ass. Uh, <laughs> um, looks like this game's going to end in a tie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely murder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because he's putting the knife in her chest, and she figures if he puts it in her ass, she won't die. She'll be able to get to the hospital. <laughs> you figured it all out. Yeah. Put that knife in my ass when you're done. That's where I usually keep it. That's, that's something. That was uh, a gimme. Uh, well, all right. Yeah. I guess this game ends in a tie. Ends in a tie. I do want to hear that again, though. Yeah, me too. Oh, oh my God, he shoved it right in my fucking ass. Holy shit. That's my fucking ass. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Let me take a break because I'm gonna urinate in my pants. I right know. We just talked for minutes. Thirty-five. We just talked for an hour and a half. Uh, Matt from Jersey, really. All right. Uh, we got Martini Steve in studio. It's Martini Steve. Mm -hmm. um, Steve. Yeah. We talked about Ramon last week. Yes, we did. Your imaginary friend. Mm -hmm. Ramon. We just re Ramon. Uh, we just noticed something else about your production. What about it? It seems like you have um, a mommy issue. Oh, that one promo. Yeah. Oh, that was. Uh... That was a one-time incident oh. where uh, I was actually at NEW cutting some other uh, piece of production, and the phone kept ringing, and it was her asking me all these questions. And when you're trying to do anything with you know around a mic and trying to like you know get something done, and a phone keeps ringing, it is the most irritating ah uh, yeah goddamn thing ever. So, but I noticed this one doesn't make much sense. Yeah, it's not accurate. What? A little odd. A little well, odd. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, let's listen to this again. We'll point out where it's at. Odd. Welcome to the OP and Hello. Hi Mom. Mom working. I'll call you back, okay? Love you too. <clears throat> Welcome to the OP Hello. Ma, I'm working. I will call you back. Welcome to Ma, let me work. Welcome to the OP and Anthony show. Whew, finally. All right, you see, it, it, it sounds like you're beating up your mom at the end of the promo. No, it's like I'm beating up a phone. 
We thought oh. it might be you beating up the mom. Oh, no, it, no, no, it had no. Had a fleshy sound to the uh, yeah, punches. There's, there's yeah, fleshy... I know. I was trying to mask it, but it was, it was supposed to be pun, you know throwing a phone around. But oh. the only like impacty sounds I had at the time were were punch hits. So yeah, I had cause to because it comes off like you're punching your mom who was on the phone, and why would she be there? If she's but calling? how logistically could I punch my mom? That's if she was, was the question. On the that's phone. why it sounded right. weird like that. Well, yeah. here's my question too. That if that's the case, you're throwing the phone around. Why is it still ringing clearly while you're punching? Oh, the because there you go. Hmm. Phones don't well, ring clearly when they're not. You're up absolutely the hook. right, and it's something I should revisit. If I could figure out the, fu- the 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 sound a phone makes as it's sort of half ringing, half being thrown in the air and bashed about. Why is it Ramon could... taking the call? Ah, Ramon didn't exist at that point. And, no. and also no. the uh, the phones these days don't ring like that. Yeah, that's ah, the, the phone of that phone in the old phone. studio uh, actually did ring like that. Was it an sort of, old style? It phone? was. It was one of those old phones with an old ringer, so I could hear it while I had cans on. That was. That was All why. right. And that was uh, the reason for, I used that ring. Thank you for clearing that up, Steve. 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 It's bothering me. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'd love to go behind the scenes of your production. Oh, yeah. It's very fascinating. It's like a DVD. <laughs> <That's> a <lot. laughs> you, know, you get it, but you also get the extras here with Steve. We invite him in to do a little uh, commentary behind. on his... Scene uh, by scene commentary. Actually, do we have it again? Oh, geez. Play it, and Steve, comment over it. Yeah, let's like do that. Like DVD uh, commentary. If Derek can play it a little Let lower. us know what was happening... Sure. What was going on? <laughs> Maybe a little technical thing. Just like a DVD. And if you need uh, Dirk to stop, you know, just raise your hand or something. All right, here we go. Uh, once again, it's uh, Steve's promo with his mom harassing him. Hey, hey music starts. To the OP and... Hello? Hi, Mom. Pick up the phone. Yeah. You're all right. Mom, Say hi to your mom. I'll call you back, okay? Love you, too. <clears throat> Hold on. Hello. All right, so the first call comes in. The first yeah. call comes in. You're not that irritated because, uh-huh. you know, it's your mom. Maybe you haven't talked to her in a while. You yeah. know, you got to take a call from your mom. You know, all right. She breaks in. You know, uh, she cuts into a recording session. It happens. Can it's I hit not menu? That big of a <laughs> <laughs> Can I go back to the menu. <laughs> exactly. I think, I think I really just want to watch the feature. Okay, now that I think of it, I hope there's not a stupid Easter egg in this one. Oh, there's plenty. I want to hear it in another language. Too bad Henri can't help us. <laughs> now uh, I, I want to know a little bit about that sound. I'm, how is that? It's the intro to the actual song that's being used in the promo. Oh, so it is. Figure... See, that's the tidbits I get the extra. Because we're for. revving up for the Opie and Anthony you're show. You're revving up. It's actually vroom, the beginning vroom. of a Jeff Beck song. Oh, uh, see, now I didn't know this, and now that you're listening to the uh, the behind the scenes uh, DVD portion of the promo, right. now we know that that is actually what a Jeff song. Beck song. It is called. Arr, I don't remember. I don't it's remember. called. Arr. Yeah, I exactly. like that. Thank this you. is like a little documentary at the end of the uh, the DVD. Like yeah, maybe the making of the extras that you get at the end of the DVD. Yes. Yep. I the like making that. of woman beating promo number five twenty eight. I have not made a misogynistic promo in months. All right. Yeah. So um, have you know? All yeah. right. Let's uh, let's go back. Get okay. to the rest of it now. And Steve, uh, comment. Hello. Hi, Mo. Mom working. I'll call you back, okay? Love you, too. <coughs> Perfect. Oh, Who's doing the mom voice? Uh, that was... That that was uh, that was me. Just You, you know. are doing all the voices I'm, on this. Even yeah, the mom. To. And did to. you muffle your uh, voice? Had to. Somehow? Had to muffle it in the hands and do like a high pitch and pitch it up afterwards because my voice is How not do you do it? How, How do you do, 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 do it? it? You get like... Wow, we're getting some live. Exactly. Uh, Steve doing the exactly. voice. Exactly. Except you, wow. fil- you EQ it and filter it. It's kind of cool, it's like the Family Guy DVD behind the right. scenes. You get to see the real people doing the voices, and, and you see That's, the sketches of yeah, the cartoon and they're characters. Not in, they're not in cartoon, you know. Yeah, and you get to see real life. That's what it is. We're seeing Steve actually do it. Very interesting. Exactly. So you know, again, you start up with with the revving music, and it gets right back into Did it. Did you have the inspiration for the for the mom? We, uh, the inspiration for the mom was yeah maybe the the teacher from uh, Peanuts or something yeah it was along those lines because you try to think of an off camera voice yeah okay now I understand yeah. what you're meaning yeah you you think of an off camera voice that's going to be easily identifiable mm-hmm. as something squawking in the background All right. like you know and now uh, now it looks like you're getting more madder at your mom here oh, uh, why yeah why did I buy as... this box set <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> Jesus this one sucks this is cool. Ma, I'm working. I will call you back. Welcome to Ma, let me work. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. How bad did you want to call her the the C word there? Oh, you you don't do that. Never. No. Never. You can smash phones, but you don't use that word again. Yeah. You never do that. Not in a promo. You think of 
any other alternative. So yes, you Jim. beat this amazing phone that comes off the hook when you answer it, but yet when you beat it, it stays on the hook and rings. Remarkably enough, the phone stayed, the phone kept ringing just to emphasize the yeah. irritation factor. Because how else, you know, what other phone, unless I actually wanted to destroy a phone, which I really didn't feel like paying for at that point, do you get the point across that you're destroying a phone other than, you know, manipulating the audio of a phone ringing? Yeah. You make a thud sound and then the ring stops abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then it just sounds like you're beating, you know, wood or, or uh, not wood, uh, oh. plastic. You're beating a phone. Plastic phones are made of plastic. Yeah, but how do you replicate that without actually destroying a phone is my point. So Opinions expressed in this commentary are not necessarily those of the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> no phones were injured in the making of this documentary. <laughs> exactly. So I didn't actually destroy a phone. I had to fabricate the destruction of a phone. And wow. that's where the, the punch sound effects, you know, often you Was use... uh, there green screen photography used and uh, Surprising. CGI special effects? And... We were thinking of going that route, but it yeah. was a little too costly, so we yeah. had to, you know, go a little, you know, Just go with... School. Yeah. Eddie, is this possible? It looks like Steve's mom is calling the program. Oh! Uh, Danny, think... yeah, thank you. Let's go to Steve's mom. Steve's mom! Yes, this is Stephen's mother. Yeah, right. Stephen? <laughs> yes, um, Mom. Will you play along, Steve? Yeah, you okay. know, you're a good boy, and I did not raise you to be like this. You have a lot of aggression, you know, with beating up on the phone and beating up on Ramon. And, you know, Dr. Phil says, you know, when you take something away, you should replace it with something. And I was just thinking, you know... Uh, there's a funny man named Jim Norton, and uh, he's going to be playing at a comedy club up there in New Jersey. And I just thought that maybe you could replace some of this aggression with going to see Jim Norton. That's, that's a fine idea. Where's Jim playing? Um, he's going to be at the Stress Factory, which is located inside the Sheraton in uh, Eatontown, New Jersey, tonight and tomorrow night. Hey, Miss C, do you have the phone number handy? Um... I didn't no, think so. Log on to www.eatabullet.com. You can find out information that way, sweetie. Thank you, Steve. All right. Mom. <laughs> Thanks Hi. a lot, Miss C. 888-541-HAHA. Ha-ha. Stupid bitch. Have the plug ready next time you call. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. All right. Jim didn't mean it. Anthony, speaking of uh, Steve's production, well, that was great, and, and uh, the insight that he gave us Very behind the scenes yes. there. I almost felt like I was there as he was making it. Sure, definitely. Fascinating. Yeah. Speaking of his production, he's got a new diva promo for us. New Ooh. diva? We love the diva promos. Wow. Yeah. We've yeah. all gotten nailed with a diva promo. Who's, yeah. uh, who's I noticed, uh, who was Coffee Diva? That was Norton. I was Norton. Coffee Diva. Who was Bagel Diva? That was... I was Bagel Diva. Okay. Yeah. I was Potato, uh, potato Diva. Potato and now I'm going to be Milk Diva, too. Ah, yeah. true. Absolutely. I remember the, your tirade mm. on the milk. Sure. And Steve came up with this. Steve, S-O-S, I need milk immediately. Coming soon to the Opie and Anthony Show, Milk Diva. Milk Diva. World Tour. World Tour. Featuring all your favorite Milk Diva hits. Live. Live. In concert. My blood sugar level is dropping as I speak. Featuring the classic, There's a Deli Downstairs. The number one smash hit. I'll suck milk out of a cow. I'll suck milk out of a cow. I don't care. I just need milk. Plus, special guest, the milk diva. I walk into the studio and he goes, Where's my milk? Why are you going to play me for the milk? And for the first time in over a decade, you don't bring me milk anymore. And then I'm noticing there is no milk around, so I'm like, Uh. I will pass out. You sound like a madman. Well, I know I'm whining. The Milk, milk Diva. Coming, coming soon to the Opie and Anthony, Anthony Show. show. Opie wants milk. He only takes it from CBS or Rite Aid. Who would go to Dwayne Reed for milk knowing that the, how desperate I am right now? You get condoms and, and maybe some shampoo from Dwayne Reed. You don't get milk from Dwayne Reed. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> now, the yeah. music was a little loud at the beginning of was that. Was it? Yeah, I'm going yeah, to have to keep it differently. You're going to have to remix that a little bit. Yeah, yeah that. but very, very funny, very, very accurate. <laughs> he was a lunatic that day. Yeah, that you know, when when he goes into those tirades, I just, you know, it's it spawns inspiration. Yes. And you have to, I, I don't know, I don't know if, I can, if I can beat that one, but I can try. You know what sucks? You know, we have that one. And mm -hmm. now I know, like a month later, I'm mm -hmm. going to have to get it again with all the extras. 
You know, <laughs> because that's what they do. He yep. pumps out a promo. You hear it, you get used to it, and and you have it. And then they put out the one where Steve tells how he did it. And I wind up having to get two of them. It's the two month anniversary edition. Yeah, <laughs> the platinum edition, all of them. I Director's love it. Director's cut. Yeah. Yeah. Director's do. cut. Maybe some uh, added things that were cut out uh, in the mix. Thirty minutes of footage that sucked, so you didn't. You know, and that's why they left oh, it out of the Oh, the version original. where the music's so loud, you missed the whole beginning of it. Yeah. I, hate we heard, I think we just heard that one. <laughs> I'd love to be a fly oh, on the guys. wall in his studio, or more accurately, a worm oh. in the bottle. <laughs> yes, no, they just picked up. Oh, uh, Lady Di stepping. Here, there, <laughs> he here goes right comes. here. Like oh, he's so. Oh, he looks so sad uh, and come dejected. Come on, and Foundry. And no energy. He's like, oh, it's right here. The name of the CD you guys put out was "What Kills Me." That's right. Our it's own very, Steve. Very aggressive. And you were the singer. Uh huh. I guarantee you, Steve right now is secretly hoping that there's a big talent scout listening. No, I'm not. Who will recognize that Foundry was a band that was overlooked. Guys, no. you guys weren't looking at this closely. Oh, no, what? I'm bummed that you guys don't have thank yous. Yeah, those uh, are always your CD. fun. Oh, I thought we did. But, Steve, would you like to let everyone know what your rock name was? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Stephen Carr. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me clarify one thing. Oh boy, I forgot if about I that. If I find out if you spelled it C A R R, yeah, I'm gonna smash did you? into your face. Yes, I did. Ah! <laughs> Fucking cocksucker. Grr, grr. Steve hybrid. It is now. It's Steve Carr. Let me try to start myself. No, 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 this is Steve Carr on vocals. Ah. Uh, I forgot Steve about Carr. that. Steve Carr. <laughs> Steve oh, Carr. Was Steve Douche taken? <laughs> uh, <laughs> better than Steve Lisi. Steve Carr. Stumble over I wish I would have seen that. I didn't well, catch it. Oh, there it is right there. C A R R. R R. Boundary is Stephen Carr, lead vocals and guitar. Stephen Carr. A bunch of dummy Stephen Carr. Practice his autograph. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did. I used to. Two R's trailed off. Ah. Uh, no, the T oh, used to intersect every God other damn. letter, I think. Yeah. yeah, it was awful. Uh, it's Steve Carr. <laughs> Carr. That's close. Steve Carr. Steve Carr. Carr. How many times did you rehearse the speech at the Grammys? <laughs> you, they, they normally don't recognize this kind of music. <laughs> you know, I'm sure dribble. I had those conversations with myself, like, you know, in the shower or at night. This lead singer of a popular band is actually named Steve Carlisi. And everyone knows it. Who is Steve Carr? Steve Carr is correct. That's right. <laughs> oh. Yes, Steve Carr. Um, this band actually uh, put out one CD, and it sucks a bag of ass. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, Steve Carr should have gone to the junkyard to be crushed. <laughs> uh, Steve Carr should have carried Harry Chapman on his back. <laughs> Steve Carr should have baby seats in the back, backing into a lake. <laughs> Steve Carr should have a hose taped to the side of his face. <laughs> I used to wear these ups with, uh, I had, since I was so big, I couldn't buy stage clothes in, I uh, couldn't buy off the rack, so I was going to Lane Bryant, the fat woman. <laughs> oh my god! The fat woman shop. That's his clothes, Lane Bryant, we'll tell you more in this. I had this beat. And I had this, uh, <laughs> yes. Oh god! You would go to Lane Bryant, and would you buy for crazy stuff? A 3X leopard skin. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. I had that. I had uh, I had gold sequin Doc Martens. You're divine. Yeah. You are divine. <laughs> yeah. I think... I think that, I had that's a... terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's more than terrible. Uh, um, Steve Carr. Oh, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. I had, I wore black eyeliner when I was. Uh, oh, oh. We gotta uh, blow up the lyrics. Oh, oh are there's lyrics. Why didn't I look at that? Oh yeah. You, uh, I want to love. I want to hate. I want to punch a girl in her <laughs> vagina. Yes. I want to <laughs> do promos that nobody gets. <laughs> I want to turn and deviate. Play the hit, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> Bring me a cloth. <laughs> a little taste. What song do you want us to play? Pendulum? Yeah. yeah. Pendulum. By they all have long. As performed by Stephen, Stephen Carr, Carr. in the band well. Foundry. Swings back and forth like a pair of balls when you're wearing a Lane Bryant dress. <laughs> <laughs> Shock jocks, Opie and Anthony. And can, I, can I ask Eric, what were you talking about the, um, uh, 
at Flash Animation. I don't I did not follow you. Not doing it. What? I learned my lesson yesterday. Not doing it. Well, there was a lesson that was learned? Yes. You learned a lesson? Why don't you tell us what the lesson was that you learned? What lesson did you learn? What lesson? Get on mic. We can't hear you. You didn't learn no lesson. Just get on mic. Yeah, you got to talk on the mic. What, what lesson doing? was learned yesterday yeah. during yesterday's show? I actually show. have a genuine, a genuine question. I want to know what <laughs> lesson was learned. Yes. I, I didn't know lesson. we were like teachers. We're a school here. Eric, what lesson did you learn? Get on mic. Not don't be it. shy. Not doing it. Not doing what? As soon as I say something, you're going to yell. Yell. I never yell. I never yell you. Jimmy doesn't yell. I yell. What lesson was learned? <laughs> Not doing it. Not doing it. Oh, way to help our program out, Eric. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's much better radio to do it this way. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, who wants to go for a laugh? <laughs> God, God forbid we actually try to make people laugh out there yeah, at someone else's that. expense. My God. Yeah, let's talk about some other things like my foot pain. All right, well, you know. we're not going to do yeah. that, so. Well, there goes that chuckle. I got a great little uh, little story. It better not be funny. Yesterday, but I'm not going to do it. Eh, why Why should you? Oh, the show's good. not about making people laugh. No. Good. At someone else's expense. You can't take one for the team. It's about preserving you your dignity you couldn't at fucking, all costs. You couldn't fucking step up to the plate and just take a, a quick beating. As soon as I say something, it gets thrown right back at me. So I knew, I knew all right, I'll stay away and let you guys do what you do. All right, what are you talking What are you... What gets thrown back what? at you, uh, Eric? I volunteered any information that you didn't have yesterday. Okay. Got thrown right back at me, so. It didn't. Okay. John Amos. I love John Amos. John Amos. What Amos. about John Amos? He came up yesterday in conversation. There were one or two other things from yesterday. I don't mm -hmm. remember off the top of my head, but uh, I learned my place. Not going to do it. Well, you thought Joey Diaz was wheels. Yeah, I had to be. I had to mention that for you. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I just thought Joey Diaz was Wheels Parisi. They're two completely different. They're just two fat men with mics in front of them. It's the only thing they have in common. Hey, Eric. didn't I see you once singing with two other uh, <laughs> opera people? <laughs> Eric's the new guy. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to toughen him up still. Yeah, we you got need some toughening up. We all get under the bus once in a while. It's for yeah. lack of a less used expression, but we all. Know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well. We'll move on with the show. Don't worry, Eric. Steve, you know why Ben sent me this? This Ben gave this to, to Eric to give to me. It's a Craigslist. Shut list. up! See? <laughs> That's how you do it. Eric thinks he's going to sidestep the landmine. <laughs> <laughs> but they're all landmines. You know what's so funny about that? Steve had no idea. No. And now you're playing into like, oh, see, I knew. See? You didn't know. I, I have I no idea. I was trying to help the program. <laughs> I was <laughs> trying to help. <laughs> that is the most up. inaccurate goddamn it, impression, by the way. It's a very good impression of it. It is not. <laughs> it's a very <laughs> not. <laughs> it is it not. Is not. <laughs> I just didn't want to deal with the consequences. I've never heard the word not. <laughs> I can hear the C, the S, and the Q when you say consequences. I know. Because <laughs> those are the letters in the word. I know they are. That's why I say it like that. <laughs> but I don't. But you, you, you put on this, this semi-gay thing. No, I don't. But I don't talk like this. <laughs> what do you mean? I put this That's a great like, impression of his impression of you. <laughs> that sounds, that, that, don't rip me off, doing you. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Tell him, Fred. Yeah. I don't put the gay thing in. No. What, you, of course you do. What do you think the flame boats do? Add masculinity to it? <laughs> <laughs> what, they're charming. Whoa, they're, don't use the word charming. Charming. <laughs> I say they're fabulous. Yeah, fabulous uh, and charming are two sorry. words heteros no, I, I don't never. use. No, I, 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 I think it's funny to laugh at it, but it's just inaccurate. You have perfect speech. I have perfect diction. I read commercials diction. for a long time, man. You have to. You have to speak with perfect diction. Oh. <laughs> All right, thanks. Word. You never drag you. words together. No. You never, like, you know, you stream them together. Yeah. Just tripping on them or whatever. He never like, does that. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. whatever. It's kind of like one word. What are you doing? Yeah. If you take a tape of Steve that? talking, you'll you'll hear yeah. a space in between every single word. Right. Yeah. Makes it easier yeah. to, yeah. to speaking edit. Fast. That's a great idea. Makes it easier to edit, he says. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> to edit. That's right. He even you speaks like it's real gonna be life. edited. <laughs> Dude, I edit everything. I have these guys farming for drops all day long, so everything's potential fodder. All right, thank you, Steve. Yeah, I heard both D's and fodder. <laughs> uh, lots of visuals should watch along with YouTube vid. Hmm. Should watch along with YouTube vid. That's, oh yeah, that's how it's written. Should listen. Right, should along listen along watch with YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Buck Rogers, 1939, re-edited from serial to feature format and re-released for theatrical distribution. Oh. Uh, Buck Rogers, Planet Outlaws. Wow. We're doing this just to get some more of uh, Buck's horrendous acting. Is this the same Buck? Oh, yeah. Is it? 
Wait, let's take a look. This is 53? Oh, the other one was like 38. Wait, so it's this not the same Bust guy? This could this? be Buster Crab. If it's not the same guy, then this bit doesn't work, well, Steve. Well, we'll see if the guy uh, acts as poorly. I think we... Marshal Craig, in assuming that you can operate a plane from the ground at such a distance, mind you, by means of radio... That's... Thanks, Steve, for fucking up a bit. You piece of shit. <laughs> fucking idiot. Will you pay attention? <laughs> We need fucking Buck Rogers audio like we just heard two hours ago. Not uh, the new Buck Rogers, because then the point doesn't make sense. I'm surprised he doesn't have the one going, beady, beady, beady. <laughs> fucking, what's his name, Gerard? <laughs> what was his name? How oh, Gerard that, Depardieu. No, no. Butler. <laughs> Gerard Butler. No. Wait, where's Steve? Gil, Gil Gerard. How does that work? It was the same dude. That's not the same dude. Those were the 1939 serials that were re-released in 1953. That's not the same guy. Yeah? Let me see him. I don't know. That's not the same guy. Dude, I wasn't able to tell. Google. I am ready to apologize I, if it's the same guy. It looks like the same dude. I mean, it looks like the same quality. It looks like the same dude. Did that sound like the same dude, Ant? Uh, I didn't hear enough of it. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Go, go to that. Right. Believe me, I, I'd like to smash Steve as much as you. So, but, well, uh, I'm not ready for the sorry yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for the sorry yet. Why don't you just I'm sticking, with, I'm sticking with piece of shit for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, the, this is the one we saw, Tiger Man of Mars. thirty five. Let's get his uh, end, end speech. There That's not the same guy. <laughs> that a battle. Captain Buck Rogers calling Earth. Captain Buck Rogers calling Earth. The Tiger Men are face. defeated. They are in full route and are turned back to Mars. Have captured Killer Kane and Ardala. Have them in the grip of the magnetic ray and are bringing them to Earth. XC-497R. <laughs> Captain Buck Rogers signing off now. Captain Buck Rogers signing off. Google his right. name. Now look, 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 look. All right. And now here and that's the same guy. Now this guy. Why don't you send up such a ship as a decoy? While Kane's patrol is following in, I can slip through in a spaceship and get help from Saturn. Well, I could slip through in a spaceship and, well... Is that Buck Rogers? Which, which one's Buck Rogers? I think that's... Um, the, the tall dude is Buck Rogers. That guy right there? Yeah. He's not the same Buck Rogers. That's not the same one. What's the guy's name who played Buck Rogers in the, in the 35? Yeah. Well, it's not the same guy. It's not even close. This guy is his retarded brother. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what his name is. Uh, it's Steve. Starring. No offense, but the bit doesn't Buster, work if we don't have crab. audio of the right. same guy. I can get. Sorry, who? We the, want more of this. I know. Instead we don't Buster have. Crab. We don't the have Buck Rogers. From we don't have more of these. This is a one off. They All did. Right, someone should have told me that. I, then now the who's the actor? Work. He's got to be I, in other things. I, I think I see Buster Crab right there. Yeah, but no, no. It's saying that. Uh, <laughs> Just Dan. Uh, Buster Crab was Buck Rogers in the 1939 serials. However. Uh, it doesn't mention that it's the same guy that's in this 1935. How about uh, cast name. for Google cast of t of okay. Tiger Man, whatever it is. If you scroll down, it doesn't say it. We oh, can just move on. No, I want to see more of this guy. He has to be in other things. Yes, he does. After a performance like this. Oh yes, the Mars Mars uh, Tiger Man. Tiger Man. The guy in the Tiger Man of Mars was John Dill Jr. There you go. John Dill Jr.? John Dill Jr. Who went Dill. on to make person. delicious treats that went on top of hamburgers. <laughs> and <laughs> hey, John Dill. And the audio I smashed was who? Crab guy? The crab guy. Buster here. Crab? Buzz the Grib. Is, 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 then is, wait. Is Dill in anything else? Look him up. I would look him up in a second and find everything he's in. <laughs> well, that's the point. We want more of him. We want him. He's the man. Not the pussy. Yeah, John Dill Jr. was the guy. Oh, See like what John else Dill John Dill was in. Go to Internet Movie Database. It says he only did one thing, and that was it. That was it? <laughs> yeah, of course. Really? He sucks. That's, that's what IMDb oh. said. But he was great. <laughs> Why would they not hire him for anything else? He's the greatest. That's all I want to do is watch John Dill. John Dill. That's it. That was the bit That's we were it. trying to do. Oh, okay. He's that down nine percent in popularity this week. Oh, he'll he'll be back up. <laughs> yeah, he'll yeah. be back up. Please That's Wikipedia all, him. That's all he did. Is he That's dead the or one alive? thing then. He's, oh, he's dead. Gotta be dead. So we don't Come have on. any more clips yeah. of him Man, doing this, this dude. That's the only thing that, that this guy did. The 1939 serials are like a ten-part series that were combined 
for a 1953 theatrical well, release. I, I did like the way he said that one word, though, the new guy. Uh, Deca- uh, the, yeah, what did, uh, he, what did he say? A decoy. A decoy. A decoy. Let's see if we can like this, uh, this guy. It seems to me you can't afford not to try it, sir. By the way, Steve, right still model. a piece of shit. Sorry. Yeah. You don't get the apology. Uh, Gotta call well, it like it is. Good morning, Thank you very much. Lieutenant Deering, you will go with Rogers to establish a means of communication with Saturn. If you do get through to that planet. Oh, Saturn. See, they're wearing football helmets. But the bit doesn't work. He says one word weird. The other guy was... Oh, look, and look at the special effects rule on this one. This is mountains opening up. Oh, look at the oh, ship. Yeah. They really got their shit together. Right nah, now. this kicks ass. Look at that shit. Does it kick ass? <laughs> it's <laughs> like they're all just one? smoking. Look, another one of those spaceships. See, it's what it, are they doing? Yeah, we're just gonna watch TV at this point. Yeah. No. We're just gonna watch TV. No. Got no problem with that. Our bits ruined. This is nowhere yeah. near as bad as that first one. I know. I was excited to get the bad acting. I know. But no, no pilot would call them spaceships. Spaceship. C- is there any more clips online, Dan, of the first guy? I think that was the only thing he that did. Was that was just that ten minutes short. It was. I think it, that's no the only th- thing he did. Yeah, there was no theatrical yeah, release he for it. The dick. It was wow. just a ten minute short that appeared at the uh, the world, the Chicago World's Fair. Did some uh, pornography in the uh, early forties, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> hey, uh, we got to acknowledge that um, Steve's going crazy. By the way, what's wrong with one him? of our guys is going crazy. I, I'm, like, beyond creeped out, by the way. Your Frank Vincent got a new haircut. He's sporting a flat top. You know. Here's our own Steve coming into Speaking studio. Speaking of um, uh, grooming and hair, Stop with the hat here comes down. Steve. Not, oh, what are you doing? No, no. That, this is how Steve came in today. Um, if we can, uh, let me spin the, uh, yeah. pal talk camera around. Steve's one we of our guys. having pal talk here. One of our guys. Who likes to kind of groom himself? Uh, what are some yeah. of the things you like to do there, Steve? Just to remind uh, the audience, yeah. maybe Talk the new people. Talk about the grooming. Let's see. Uh, I have the uh, the the, well, you the lost, beard. You lost a couple hundred pounds because you had your stomach stapled. I'm incredibly vain, and you know, and and so I do things like lose a hundred, couple hundred pounds by getting my stomach stapled. I'll trim my beard like painstakingly. Yeah, you know, to way too much work. I, yeah, I, it's for me. It's a goatee or just shave. Right, but you you carve out. Yeah, designs. I carve out a go. He's one yeah. of those guys that has to carve out stuff. He does the cool guy in the boy band beard cuts. Right, right. I respect, where you gotta have the real thin like. I respect the pe- the guys lines. out there that do carve out stuff, but too it just looks too much work, man, for me. Too much and, work. And and I'm a very hairy guy, and you like very hairy. I uh, I shave my arms so I can uh, be a little bit less hairy on the arm region. Also shows off the tattoos. Right. Ah, uh, you also laser some hair off. I also lasered some but hair it, off the but back. It keeps growing laser. back. It keeps growing back. Anyway. Yeah. Is it supposed to stay off? It's supposed to if you keep going back. But the problem is I have that one tattoo on my back that you can you can't laser it because I'll burn the tattoo off. So Uh-oh. you just have a patch of hair that's thicker than that's surrounded by all this thinner hair. So it just <laughs> well, looks you should silly. incorporate it into your tattoo somehow. Make the tattoo <laughs> yeah. like a hairy thing. Well, get a beard. Well, the chick writing the guitar on my back already has a full beard because of all the hair How growing through her face. How Lebanese are you? In, uh, 30% probably. And then he also works out. What's the rest? Dachshund? <laughs> <laughs> How many hours a day do you work out? Uh, hour and a half a day. Yeah, every day. An every hour day. And a half. That's crazy. Now, what, what's going on with the hat being pulled down? He's got his yeah. hat. His We've hat never hat seen him wear a hat. Right. Maybe, and, maybe on a couple occasions. Okay. He's but, not but a it's guy that would, down. would wear a hat in the, general. The brim of his uh, uh, baseball type cap, of course, it's a foundry music cap with the flames on the front. Of course. Is up. It's pulled down. Very low over his brow. And right. uh, we were trying to figure out why, and um, he, he spilt the beans as to why he's wearing that. Yeah, right. t- take the hat off for Jimmy. <laughs> see? <laughs> <laughs> look, Jim, just get a good look. I can't see you. Hey, what are your lights blocking? What, you, what happened? He shaved his eyebrow. Something what? amiss. <laughs> Something <laughs> went... <laughs> okay. So it goes like this. <laughs> he's got the he's got the Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, going. I have Whoopi Goldberg eyebrows at the moment. Um, I, uh, Why I have would a, you shave your eyebrows? I have a, a, an electric beard trimmer that I use to carve out the beard. Okay, and I have in the past used it to reduce my bushy eyebrows. And no one has, you know, and and I've done it carefully enough so no one really notices. So it's just so it trims them. But I was not paying attention and didn't adjust <laughs> the stupid 
uh, you know, uh, what's the the, the little height adjustment? Yeah, the little height adjustment on the thing, and I whacked one of them off yesterday completely. And as my mouth is just hanging open, looking at my one eyebrow and Steve, one full eyebrow, I gotta call you out. No, it's I swear to you, it wasn't by accident. Nope. You decided that nope. you wanted a close eyebrow shave, and and then realized, wow, this looks really dumb. You wanted to have a closely cropped brow, no. so you could have funny. Dude, I got razors Curry. and stuff, and I make sure. I mean, you. Triple yeah. check, quadruple check to see what, uh, you know, what... What's, what's I, even better if, is he realized when he did the other yeah. one, because the other one isn't as short. Yeah, the other so one he's got one non-existent eyebrow much, on his right yeah. eye, and then over his left eye, it's a uh, regular eyebrow. Yeah. A little short. Exactly. Hence the... And, and believe me, if, if, if I really wanted it this short... I would absolutely admit to it. And no, I'm say, not saying you wanted it that short. You definitely were going to like shave it down shorter than you usually do and realize, oh, man, this really looks bad. I yeah. say, I say, we get a Sharpie and, and Sharpie in that eyebrow that's missing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I say we get crutches for the people who even come near me with a Sharpie. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> well. Why what does this mean? <laughs> how long will it take you to shave them? How long does it take them to grow back if you shave them? Hopefully, oh. hopefully they'll be they'll be back in by tomorrow. Well, uh, he's Lebanese, so yeah, yeah. exactly. I was he praying to Jesus quickly. that I would grow them back in overnight. You know, putting Rogaine on my eyebrows. <laughs> Why do you shave them totally off? <laughs> because that would look really dumb instead of That'd be great. mostly dumb, which is what it looks like now. It's it's I believe me. I, I shave your eyebrows. What's wrong? <laughs> no, no, not even your. No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with it, Steve. There isn't. It's fine. No, no there's nothing fine about it. I'm not shaving my eyebrows. There's a way. No you run the razor over your complete eyebrow. That's it's on. a beard trimmer. It's a beard yeah, trimmer. Yeah, yeah. You but do it with a height adjustment, so you just go boom, and it shortens it up. And because my eyebrows, if I let them go, will grow into my temple. Mm. So <laughs> I, I've done this. You're a chimp. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done this a bunch of well, times, I, and, and no one's ever noticed. I get those like an occasional wild like three hairs that'll come flying out, Boing. but but never. I never let them get to that point. Hey, you know, if you just up. like take your finger and kind of push up on your eyebrow, mm -hmm. you could see the ones that are kind of poking up further than the other ones, and you take a little scissor and go click, 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 click. See, I learned I've never, that never would have occurred to me. And, and you, you come, but then you don't have to worry about, because the, I, I, the thought of taking a razor over your eyebrow, <laughs> it's just too risky. He's a grooming freak. Too <laughs> risky. Enough I've, with the grooming, man. I know. It's I know. The really sideburns hard. coming down to the jawline. Well, the sideburns I figured yeah, out. they're cool. Sideburns I figured out. The beard Steve, I figured out. The eyebrows apparently I need to stay away from. Steve's got a cool look. He does. Except for the eyebrows. Except for the stupid <laughs> missing eyebrow yeah. now. Let's go to Cigars and Scotch. Cigars and Scotch, what's up? Hey, Steve, come clean. I know where you are on the weekend. You were shooting a remake of Pink Floyd's The Wall. <laughs> ah, <laughs> and any blood in the sink? <laughs> no, just eyebrow hair. Uh, I have a couple of wacky ones that stick up like little antenna, and my ex-girlfriend hated them. So I would Yeah, I remember them. those. Yeah, you, you refused yeah. to cut them. Yeah, because they look wa uh, wacky. Uh, were you using them as a prop on stage? No, I would rub her cheek with them. Would, she would hate them. She, would, Ew, you'd rub her cheek with yeah, your... Yeah, I said, look, aren't I like a scientist? <laughs> <laughs> it was really creep her out. Yeah, but my eyebrows, like I said, they'll grow into my temple. And even my barber takes a takes a beard trimmer and goes like over here and does all this stuff. Because my hair is so thick, it'll my my eyebrows will grow we'll into my temple Connect into your he's, temple, he's, and if that happens, the world ends. He's wolf boy. He yeah. really is. You're like a wolf boy. We gotta take a break. You ever happen? Uh, uh, well, let me uh, break this one open. Uh, when I had long, remember when I had long hair? When you'd shampoo your hair, and that, Steve had long hair at one yeah. point. You ever have? I called it a wild hair uh, up your. Yeah. It was. It was. You'd be shampooing, and then later on, you'd kind of feel something ticklish. So you'd reach down to your undercarriage, and a single hair from your head will have worked its way down your back. And into like um, the uh, 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 crevice area, so you reach and pull, and the sensation you would get, you'd go like <laughs> <laughs> either that or <laughs> you get one that starts choking your uh, unit. <laughs> Never get that. <laughs> oh my God, my unit's trying to commit suicide. It's called the wild hair up your. Yeah, or it's yeah. not a wild hair; it's a the pube of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got to be when uh, some people go. I never had that happen. It's got to be when you have like shoulder length hair. Yeah, it happens. So, so girls, have girls have it, or when you have when you're in a band and yeah. you know, and trying to wash that greasy mane. It, right, they happen. Yeah. And they then you, you pull, you pull, and it's like whoa, because it yep. it works its way right through everything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't. Boy, Steve's got weird timing, doesn't he? I know. He learns. Anytime a man's ass.
Hey, uh, it's posed. did you notice uh, Steve's uh, face? Eyebrows. It's the most disturbing thing I've ever As seen. As the days go by, th- Steve, you still got to cover it up with the, the hat. We got to make him wear a pirate patch <laughs> on his eye until his brow grows back. And I, I heard him. I heard him explaining it to Bob, and I'm I'm just not buying any of the explanations. I, I never buy any of my explanations because why would you shave the second one to make it look just as creepy as the first one? You would have looked better with one eyebrow. I absolutely would Listen. not have. I gotta have some kind of symmetry. No, no it isn't. No, you don't. It's not a mustache. It's an <laughs> eyebrow. <laughs> Well, I, well, if you shave one eyebrow and you have the other one and you go, what happened? I shaved, I messed up a little. People go, oh, okay, cool. I think Steve was I going for a new I look and it, and, it, and uh, yes. you realize, wow, this really sucks. I got to come up with an excuse because the, the guy's going to notice. Gay alien? Because <laughs> <laughs> he said yeah. that he's done it a million times. I have. Shaved the eyebrows. I've, t- I've taken a beard trimmer to my eyebrows before and, and no one's ever noticed because I've adjusted the height the height on the uh, on the little gauge there so it you know, didn't gauge. off all of them. Here, get your right. face on Pal Talk. No one believes your excuses. Here, your bad lift excuses. up your hat. Yeah. I, so, so they can see how creepy it is on Pal Talk as I well. I know nobody believes me. I but wasn't doing anything. He was sitting there and I tripped and my face hit his belt buckle. <laughs> that was when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's exactly like that. So he said that he's done this a, a million times, but for some reason the, 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 uh, the adjustment was different. He shaved off the one eyebrow and figured I might as well shave off the no, other No, that's one. not what you did, dude. It's some, you were playing games with one of your guy friends. <laughs> Truth or dare. He was like, I'd like to do this. And you're All like, right, I don't Bob, know, just I'll try it. Give. And then he was like, you want to do the other one? And then halfway through. And then halfway through the other eyebrow, you guys just went at it and started making out heavy. So you had to, wow. like, you had to fix you it. You got this all plotted <laughs> out in your head, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> the treatment? <laughs> a treatment, I have an outline. I just sold it to NBC. <laughs> what did you just do? A roid. That's a sign of colon it cancer? It had me if it an itch inside, internal for a while. How far inside? I don't know. <laughs> but you, I think it's you need else. someone to scratch it. <laughs> I, no, I think it's. Uh, I got. Uh, I got the little. I had the first time I ever had to use preparation H. Uh, oh, you used it. Yeah. You finally crossed that threshold into adulthood. Never- yeah. What the hell happened to your head? Oh, that was a nice sec. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been kind of whispering around your back. We're wondering if you're feeling okay. What oh, happens? what? The, oh, the hair that was uh, me trying to. Even out my sideburns last night and then going dreadfully wrong, so I just said, hey, screw it. I got rid of everything. It'll you, grow back uh, in a couple weeks. Was, was Wait, it just a, because uh, you couldn't get your sideburns dude, look, correct? Dude, you have a foot of sideburn to work with every I know, morning. I know, I know, and See, I trimmed one of these them. guys that likes to you know, bring his sideburns way, way down, almost yeah. to his chin. No, I was trying to trim them because they were getting really bushy, and I and I got the beard trimmer out, and by the time I got done, it was past my ears, and it looked like I had Christopher Reeve hair before the accident, and it looked like a wig because he was... You but know. that would have grown in in two days. Instead, you decided to this, take it all off. Yeah, I decided to take it You're all such off. such a liar. You, you, decided, to you decided that you wanted a new look. Yep. No one well, just th- decides. Oh, oops! I I I well, no, up my no, sideburn. No. I'm gonna just shave my head. Trust me. It was it, it was it was it was. Come on. It was going up. up and up and up, and then I said, yeah, "Screw it. Let's just go and shave the whole thing." You're absolutely <laughs> right. I wanted a new look, but it was after. The whole sideburn mishap. Are so. martinis allowed in the barracks? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know you haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. You're oh. working your balls off for the radio show, and next no thing sleep. you know, you know you're, you're coming in looking like this. We're getting a little worried about you. What? What's, you have no hair, and you have a flame hat on. You're just an odd guy. <laughs> I know. I mean, I, I'm I'm cool with that. I I really have no problem with. What side was that, Private Pile? Sir, left side, <laughs> sir. Are you sure, Private Pile? Sir, yes, sir. What side was that, Private Pile? So right side, sir. <laughs> you know, as, as I'm doing it, I'm sitting there, so, seeing my, you know, you, I, I sat there and consciously thought, I'm going to catch shit for this. Ah, fuck it, who cares? And I just shave it. So. Let's take a look. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You little scumbag! <laughs> I got your name. I got your ass. <laughs> Who is that, Private Pile? <laughs> sir, jelly donuts, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you are a private pile. Oh, come you on. You are a disgusting fat <laughs> body, private pile. <laughs> sir, the private's name is Charlene. Sir, <laughs> 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 the private's name is <laughs> You make it so gay, though. You always had that gay twinge. I don't I don't mind the whole enunciating properly thing. I'm quite proud of the whole thing. Very but, enunciative. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, but you always put this gay, you know, twang on it. And, just a little and, bit. Just a little. You know, a I don't little. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna like uh, kill yourself, are you? In the bathroom later? Wouldn't that be great? He's oh. in the bathroom oh. in my underpants. Gun. Oh. Yeah. There Sexy. you go. No. Look at, 
You didn't really take it down right to the scalp, though, did you? No, it's, no. This is uh, that's the way the military does it, man. They it, leave no, that, you know what it is? It's as close can, as you can get. Yeah, I don't think you can without get any... taking a, a big razor. No, nah, I just didn't. I've done that before. I did that once when I was in college, and it just you get all the stubble and bumps, and I just didn't. This Earl so. shaves his head. Yeah. Our own Black Earl. And remember, Black Earl had a problem. He uh, he was shaving his mustache one day. And got it shaved uneven on one side and kept going in, 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 but didn't make the commitment to shave it all off. Remember the day Earl came in with a Hitler mustache? Yeah, yeah I do remember that. A black <laughs> Hitler. And we were goofing on him. He's black Hitler in our studio. And uh, he said he kept shaving and it kept looking uneven, so he just kept going. <laughs> Yeah. Black Hitler. But that's what happens. You have that's to either, what happened to you. You have to commit to either evening it out and slowly fading it up, or just if it's not looking right, you have to get rid of all of it and just say, screw it, it'll grow back yeah. in two weeks. I'm not with you, man. Yeah, I really think you wanted to do it, and you started, you're like, eh, why not, and just took it off. I understand you want to be a little light made. It's not a big deal. I look good. Yeah, knowing you, yeah, you, you probably go. uh, already photoshopped your face to see how it would look. Oh, did you do yeah, a little not preview? At all. Not you know, you've probably been thinking about this for a while and then said, hmm, nah. I'm going to photoshop uh, myself nah. with, with a bald head. Happy birthday, dear Foundry Music! <laughs> oh my God! No, it, it, like I, I have that that whole Lebanese and Italian thing going on, so my hair will grow back in probably two weeks. How tall are you? About six foot. I six didn't foot. know they stacked shit that high. <laughs> I didn't walk right into that one. <laughs> I want that head to be so clean, you Panero would go in there and take a dump. Be wow. proud to take a dump. <laughs> because I recorded it in stereo, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to yesterday. Nice. Wow. Oh, very good. <laughs> what speaker is that coming up? <laughs> Left side, sir. <laughs> what speaker is that coming out of? Right side, <laughs> sir. That's out of phase, Private Pile. Pick up your fucking debt machine. <laughs> 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 All right, I was waiting. I was waiting. He for is listening to us, though. He's now ha has his shirt untucked no, these days. I like it. The flame hat. He's a little rebellious, but I like mm -hmm. the uh, untucked shirt. It looks yeah. good. All right. All right. All right. You didn't give me. I was. I was waiting for Norton to give me inordinately large amounts of shit, but he did. He didn't. He didn't because he's he's bald. Yeah. I don't yeah, mind. Exactly. I think it's a good look. I don't mind. But you, you definitely without. You should shave the face too. No. No. What's wrong? What's wrong with having the goatee and the shaved head? I would just. I would like to see it like totally. Nah. Smooth. I just. I look like a. You know, infant wow. with the with the no facial hair. <laughs> An infant, infant. Jesus, A baby what? Huey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't want... infant. Yeah, yeah. A baby with hair on its back. Fucking drink in his hand. <laughs> Dude, I would give you a thousand dollars if you came in with a freaking adult diaper and no. you shave your goatee. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, prostitution. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it would have to be substantially more money than it that. Would 500 if you suckle. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. No. All right, Steve, thank, thank you. you. The, the look is uh, interesting. To say the Get least. the fuck out of my studio! <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> yep. Martini Steve. If God wanted an olive in your drink, he'd have miracled it in there. <laughs> We've outtakes of Steve's voice work if that's a nice um, thing or if you'd like to spend more time on that. That means we'd have to do more radio, Than, and I don't want to. Okay. All right, we will. You know what this means, though? <laughs> We're setting up for leaving early in the very near future. Of course. Oh. That's what we do. I don't really get these outtakes from Steve, though. No? Not really. Someone can set it up. They're just ridiculous things Steve <clears throat> This ridiculous sound Steve has made into a microphone while oh, okay. he's been recording. All right, here we go. Like this one? <laughs> what? <laughs> why would you do that? And why would you always have to say what? Uh, what? It brings I'm, them back. Because it brings, yeah, it brings me back to uh, whatever I'm doing. And usually it's someone trying to get my attention, like Derek saying, could you stop being an asshole for two minutes? Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I, I believe number two is a, a favorite sound effect of us around the office. Oh, this one. Oh, I love this one. Steve likes to make this when we're trying to talk to him. That's not true. Ow! <laughs> Ow! That's a good Steve sound. Yeah. Yes, um... Who are you? Oh, I'm Sam. Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. How are you? How's your internship going? I'm not an intern anymore. Oh. Um, remember? Roy. Steve, uh, that's our favorite Steve sound clip because... He constantly makes it in the office while at CBS in his, uh, you know, uh, private office. And he uh, did it one day, not realizing that uh, Tracy was in the main office oh. in earshot. Uh, oh. So he made the sound, and Danny and me kept asking him what he said. And so he kept repeating it. 
Oh they, no! They roll out of the office <laughs> and saw in Tracy his, in his chair, and mid ah <laughs> looked right at Tracy and said, "I didn't know you were in here." <laughs> Good cover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I really, I, you know, I, try, I tried to play it cool, but there's really no way to play it cool no, when you're in mid You Ow! didn't. <laughs> yeah. just. So now what they do is they accost me uh, by, um, while I'm on the phone, I'll have a <laughs> chorus of these fucking guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all they do. <laughs> That's all they do now, is try to distract me from whatever I'm doing by doing that. Mm-hmm. Any, uh... What? Ow! 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 <laughs> what you are hearing <laughs> are stupid Steve noises. Ow! These are some of the sounds Steve makes when he goes into the production room to put together production for the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. You got... What? Ow! And this is my favorite. Ow! And then you got this one. And then this one. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. Why does, what's wrong with Why him? does he do that? <laughs> Don't do that. It's too late because now everybody just walks around imitating Steve. Oh, we just do that now. Tourette's thing? What's the matter with him? I don't know. Some people like, you know, you warm up in there a yeah. little bit. You if you're doing up. a read, you go like... <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Ow. What is that, Steve? Steve, why that obnoxious I sound? I don't know. It's just it's one of the flurry of horrible things that are going around in my brain when I... Oh, wow. How long well, have you been doing that sound, honestly? Mm. That's beyond production. No, that's just weird. I've been doing that for a while. It just happened to get picked up on a... Right. How uh, Yeah, uh... Months, months and months. Months. Yeah, I would walk wow. in and just, it, you know, it's just one of those things. You know, yeah, you're right. You know, normally you'd go in and you'd, wah, wah, you know, you do mouth exercises before you yeah. do some kind of a commercial read. But for some reason, those noises come out and I don't know why. What are the mouth exercises? We, the noise? <laughs> before, you, before you do like a commercial read, you're supposed to like... Uh, open your mouth really wide and stretch. It's just one of those things. Makes you it do. easier to Makes easier, it easier to before, especially when you have to enunciate. Uh, yeah, especially with Trojan. <laughs> yeah, your mouth. Is open your mouth out. wide. Yeah. Get down on your knees. Exactly. <laughs> wow, that's weird. Yeah. And then you get these. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand. Sam wants me to stress that I do that when I'm not in the production room. It's not a warm up. <laughs> it's not a warm up when you're. I'm. It's a weird. No, I'm a strange person. He's warming up to have a conversation. <laughs> That's what he's warming up for. He, he does it in his little office. Yes. Do you yeah. really? All day. Uh, no, I haven't done it in ever since. <laughs> In, in about two weeks, in about two weeks, I, I actually laid off because I realized, you know, maybe making these noises isn't the smartest thing for an executive producer to be doing. Because not only did I do it, does our executive producer do it? Yes, exactly. Oh, sorry, Sam. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> He's all tripped up. Just go. I'll fix everything. They're basically wanna, saying it's weird that you have that title, just in case you didn't figure that. Yeah, one. I understand okay. that. <laughs> um, I'm a strange boy, and I make weird noises. All right, it sounds like your face should be buried in a pillow when you make that noise. Who doesn't it? <laughs> All right, thank you. Right. Well, <laughs> can't believe we're interviewing you about this noise. I don't... <laughs> Did we just interview Steve for five minutes about this? Oh, I didn't realize. <laughs> So oh, when did you realize that you can make noises like this? What didn't you realize when you said yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, I probably that either whoever was but recording that, either Tim or Derek, like pointed at the stupid, you know, uh, uh, computer screen to say, uh, it, we're recording this. Yeah, that computer screen. That's what's stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Point at it. Yeah. All right, Steve. Thank you. Why don't we play Drew Boogie? Uh, this is the Steve C. Don't worry, be happy remix that has. Uh, we took one of his noises and made a little remix with it. Here it is.
so um, we introduced a lot of people to the sounds of Steve. Yes. The sounds of Steve. Steve losing his mind. What? This is our uh, uh, our own Steve. Oh. 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 I didn't realize. Oh. He so, sounds like a cat. Yeah, so we want to use one of these for the sound of the day tomorrow. Which one you want? This one? Oh. What? <laughs> this one? This one? Oh. Or finally? Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. <laughs> It, it has to be. It the, has to be the worst one, <laughs> which is that one. That that is. Right. It's beyond anything I can even wrap my mind around. This sound will be posted later on O and A Radio dot com. But basically, if you're listening now, you don't need to go there for the sound, I guess. But maybe you missed one during the contest. Mm -hmm. That's where you could go to find other sounds. Um, okay, so we'll play this between seven and seven thirty tomorrow. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh. And uh, if you're the 10th caller, you'll win the next $1,000. Now, Tim, our other production guy, he uh, he's uh, he's feeling like Steve might be ripping him off a little bit. There is a similarity. So, Steve, uh, so Tim, so Tim put uh, this together and ran it in here just a moment ago. Steve Calisi does a voice. Oh, I think he's ripping me off. Oh. Why does Steve sound like that? Steve's stealing my thunder. What? My thunder! Sounds a little like his character. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh! oh. <laughs> then he gets all whiny. Oh! Yeah. Oh, God, no. Come out, and I don't know why. Steve Carlisi! You got to get a producer, Ropey Anthony Show. They should both be burned alive. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's horrid to listen to that. I love it. Just set on fire, like, with a match. Like, with, like, a little match that you have to hold under them so it catches. <laughs> it's I, terrible. I, I actually love it. Although it's not as good as the Coke Logic thing. Coke Logic took Steve's uh, sound and put this quickie together. Ow! Steve's up. There you go. Coke Logic. His animations are up on ondayradio.com. You're going to want to check that out. <laughs> By the way, people are pointing out that the show's a little weird today. Anthony talking about his uh, one time, one time only that he tried on uh, panties, and now we're talking about my hair. So, oh Jesus, it's, it's a it's a weird one today. Hey, uh, do you guys remember these dumb noises? <coughs> what the sounds of yep. Steve, one of yes. our guys here on the Opie and Anthony show, <coughs> and this one, <coughs> and this one. <coughs> I didn't realize. See, there are things uh, oh, God. around here that take off with the staff. This is what's taken off with the staff. We all walk around imitating Steve now. Ow. Yeah. Ow. He uh, he goes into production Ow. to do something, Yeah. and he does this into the mic for some reason. Yeah. So if we're just talking about the show and trying to get things done, people will answer in, in Steve's uh, Stevie's. special way. Ow. I didn't realize. Oh. I hate that one. How can you not? Well... And what's so weird about this show, and which is kind of fun um, from where we sit, you never know what's going to take off. And the listeners, Coke Logic took one of those uh, sounds, and he uh, he put it to Brick House. You might have heard it, but we got a couple new ones today. But here's the original. So Coke Logic took those noises and did this with them. Ow, she's a bitch. Ow. <laughs> she's my to my tag. Just letting it all hang out. She's a bitch. There you go. Nice ending. So Coke Logic got the ball rolling, right? And we got a couple new ones. Matter of fact, uh, Than and Danny. 
came up with one. Yes. This is just hitting the presses as we speak here. This I uh <laughs> This I knew was coming. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Quick and to the point from uh, yeah. Dan and Danny. That's a good one. <laughs> what do you think there, Jimmy? I like it. You like it, right? I certainly do. I was trying to think of a good name for the song, and of course I'm falling flat. Oh. No improv skills. Well, sounds like Zeppelin. <laughs> and then we got uh, <laughs> Cradle of Milf submitted one. And they're starting to say this might uh, be better than Coke Logics. Yeah. Uh, tears are falling. Anyone? Anyone? I like that song. By? Uh, well, originally by uh, uh, the, the two guys. Bob, Ed uh, Norton. It was in Donnie Darko, right? That one? Oh, no, it's a different mm. one. Different. Uh, tears, are, we, no, it's different tears are falling. Kiss? Oh, that's New Kid. Tears are falling. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I'm, I don't like that. Well, this is oh. what uh, was done with that. So. You like it now. Fits. That was good. Hey, man, the listener's got some creativity, man, that's for sure. How do you hear that in his dumb noise? It, that's it funny. fits perfect. Once again, cradle. Honestly, think I give a rat's fat fucking ass? Here comes light of the day, light of the day, light of the day. I don't exercise enough. Cock meat, nothing but cock meat. What the? <laughs> Tag. New tag. Where did you get the new tag from? <laughs> is that Steve? Of course, of course it, it was Steve. <laughs> Who else would sing cock me? I know. I was actually his subconscious. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Oh, Somebody God. asked you what you wanted for lunch. Oh, <laughs> 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 ah, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. What? Uh, what? Wait, what were you? What was I was that? Probably in Derek's uh, uh, studio cutting something, and unaware that the fucking microphone was on again, oh, and punchy, man. and singing. You know what? And does Derek uh, save all our flubs? Yeah, he should. Put a best of uh, flubs together for the show. Oh, I, I got plenty of them. I got ridiculous ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just us Already. fucking up copy and all that. Already in the works. Just bleep out. Bring the, it to the show. Bleep soon. out the sponsor names. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all you got to do. Derek, you should bring some of that in soon. Yeah. Bring in some of the best of the, the crap we do in there. Because <laughs> he usually gets us tired and it's just. It's oh, just I bad. know. All right. We got to go. 
Iraq. Uh, was that that was uh, great? <laughs> a lot of fun today. Iraq, thanks for being fat. Oh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I thought you were going to say being a good sport. Eric was a very good sport today. It, it yeah, gave it us an hour, so I really appreciate the fact yeah. that you have no self control. Well, my apologies. <laughs> Any hurtful lines I said, I apologize. Oh, look at me. He killed you way more than I did. No, I didn't. Aww. Aww. Jimmy, he I'm kissed very, I'm, you. I'm very he nice goes. to Rock. Well, he was going to eat me, but people were watching. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Now go spin through some Midwestern town. Poor <laughs> 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 uh, <for> Iraq. <laughs> He's feeling kind of low. Spin to a Midwestern town like the Tournay Doughboy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stretch, but it works. I just wanted to poke his stomach, watch him go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear the cock meat uh, clip again? Trying to work it in. Yeah, let me hear it. Cock meat. Nothing but cock meat. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh. Oh, what an hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Steve, what diet are you on right now? Aren't cock you? meat. Oh. Nothing but cock meat. Ah, okay. Boy, it's good. Way to confuse the issue with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh. That's good. Hey, how do you like to uh, introduce somebody to your mouth? Cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Ah. Besides the toilet paper, what do you put in your ass? Cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Oh. Rock, this is going to save you. This is the last thing uh, people are going to remember uh, until tomorrow. Uh, That's how it works. You know what I can't stand? When you're in a hotel and you don't bring a toothbrush with you. Steve, what do you use? Cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Steve. Why would you say that? Oh, know. my God. That is fantastic. I don't really, I honestly don't know. No, we do know. Oh. <laughs> I, that, that one is right here. That has to be right there. Next to the rest of my Steve clips. No, nothing's wrong. Just stay in the living room. I'll handle it. Cock me. <laughs> Nothing but cock me. <laughs> Is there any more to that song? I don't think so. I hope not. Wow. God, I hope. I really hope not. Mm. All right. Well, I guess uh, that's good. Uh, cock go cock me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but. Uh, yeah. Not even the head or the balls, but <laughs> no. the meat of it. He just wants, like, the prime rib of the cock. Like, you ever have crab cocktail? It's just a bunch of pieces of crab. <laughs> What's the meat of the cock? The fat, veiny part. You could take... The head is for the birds, as Steve will fre frequently blog. <laughs> the head has no nutritional value. It isn't chewy enough. <laughs> you eat the head, kid. I'll have the meat. I just love that's it. Yeah. Would cock you like me? <laughs> Nothing but cock me. So, uh, sir, are you saying you don't want head or balls with that? <laughs> cock me. <laughs> okay. Nothing but cock me. That's right. Uh, appetizer or salad? <laughs> cock me. <laughs> Nothing but cock me. All right. And uh, any dessert or coffee afterwards? <laughs> cock me. Okay, sure. Nothing but <laughs> cock me. Right, I'll have that right out for you. Uh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, God. until now, Rice Aroni was the San Francisco <laughs> treat. <laughs> People want this for their ringtone, by the way. Oh, who doesn't? Wow. Imagine you're in the train and your phone rings and you hear this. Cock meat. Could it be? Nothing but <laughs> cock meat. Oh, hello. You have 30 people in a row just going, Steve? Steve? Oh, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Matt from Queensbury. Uh, Queensbury, check it in. Uh, we got to acknowledge uh, Canada. Oh, this is obscure reference. Very good. Steve, what do you usually have in your hand in the dressing room at Lane Bryant? Cock meat. Uh, Nothing but yeah, cock meat. I like that. Yeah. 
he remembers what Steve used to wear yeah. as the lead singer of, of Foundry. Uh, of Foundry, yeah. And he was That's playing right. pendulum. 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 What did that pendulum slice up? Cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Love it. Uh. Can well, we go home now? Yeah. Why don't we just leave? What does the uh, pad data say, by the way? Steve C. Ah, just says Steve C. But it might as well say. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Steve cock meat. Uh, <laughs> all right. And people are trying to bring E-Rock back into this now. No, <laughs> no, no, no. There's no, no need for no. that. This it's on done. Its own. Absolutely. It's, uh, we've e moved on to e -Rock bigger doesn't and like eating cock well, meat. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, That's no. That's the only thing he doesn't like eating. No. Of course not. It's low fat. Whose phone's ringing? Someone's phone is ringing? Or? Oh, is that out there? Ron Fez up in the, wow, only 20 minutes of this. People point. are wondering, what uh, what does the C stand for in Steve C? <laughs> cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Ah, okay. All right. Steve cock meat. It's coming in like crazy. Could you just do, uh, get get Steve a mic. Could you sing E-Rock's version of this song? That would have, of course, be lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming in way too many times. Uh, really? Just give us a lunch meat. All right. Is it on? Yeah, it is. So, lunch meat. Lunch meat. Nothing but lunch meat. <laughs> the way that left hand kind of kept time by going yeah, in and out. You like that? No, I want to slice it off. There you go. <laughs> did you do that hand motion with the cock meat version? I oh. think I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm really afraid that Derek is going to find some other piece of that song that I, that <laughs> I completely more? forgot that I did. If Derek, I hope so. I have, if Derek wants to continue working here, he better find <laughs> it. <laughs> I have, Look at him go. He's out of the room. <laughs> I have been in that studio punchy and completely unaware of what I'm saying into a microphone so many times. Ooh. Oh, but we're that, aware. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, let's go home. We're done. I want to go home. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Ron and Fez up at noon. Obviously. Yes, check out Ron and Fez. And tomorrow, do we have anybody tomorrow? What, uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. I thought we had somebody. Starving here, Earl. We got any cock meat back there? Oh, cool. We got Larry the Cable Guy at 8 o'clock. Larry the Cable Guy. Ah. Very good. I'm happy about that. Yeah, very cool. Whatever. All right. Done ski. Just shut everything down. I'm out. Ah. Feeling a little hungry, uh... Anyone uh, want to go to lunch, maybe? Um... Steve, you got a hanker for anything? Cock meat. <laughs> Nothing but cock meat. Right? I'm done. Yeah. Gotta be quick. I gotta go do audio. <laughs> okay. I'm going. All right. What we got? What are we talking about today, meeting wise? Uh, meeting. Uh, what? Meeting? <laughs> cock meat. Ing. Nothing but no. cock meat. Ing. All right. Fuck off, guys. Later. Being an intern for the Opie and Anthony radio show can be a worthwhile experience if you follow these simple guidelines. First, you must adhere to the company dress code. You could wear either garters or bong panties. When working in close quarters with others for extended periods of time, personal hygiene is also very important. You will shave every third day, which includes legs and pubic area, navel to anus. Conduct in studio and on air is also of critical importance. You will be naked within 20 minutes and then sleep naked unless otherwise instructed. On occasion, interns will need to cater to very specific needs of the radio show hosts. You will perform any and all sexual acts, including anal penetration and or ingestion of cum when told to. Interns looking for additional credit are encouraged to go the extra mile. Sex acts can include but are not limited to stripping, hand jobs, <laughs> fingering, masturbation, dildoing, vibrators, and object insertion. All application of lubes to myself, you, or any object 
will be done by you. Of course, it's important to maintain a positive attitude despite any objection you may have to these requests. You will not cry, sob, whine, or otherwise show displeasure or unhappiness. Non-compliance with a host's request will be dealt with effectively and immediately. If you are non-compliant, you will be tied to the bed and I will do whatever I wish to you. So if you think you have what it takes to be an Opie and Anthony show intern, look for details on opianthony.com. I can cuddle, spoon, hold, or touch you in any way. What is fucking wrong with this? All right, see what's going on? Oh, is everyone all right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. All right. God, Why don't we take a break? We got Bob Kelly's you audio. You wear shorts? Oh, when he it's broke his uh, leg. Creepy. What? what? Why Just to see Steven Steve, Schwartz is let creepy. Let me see. Back up there, Steve. Look at tall child outfit. I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Do a little spin for me. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, look at him. Little big child. <laughs> Why? What's, what's, what's so bad about shorts? Nothing if you're four, but those are like big <laughs> child shorts. They're back to school specials. Yeah. Those shorts have as much material as like three pairs of my pants. <laughs> They're great. They're like, very roomy. There's a lot. Of are they shoes. big through the hips? Roomy? <laughs> roomy. They were large shorts. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mm. All right, we're going to break. Give me a perfect diction. We're going to break. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to break. Yes. All right, well, uh, what about this Sergio Rio? Oh, Sergio Rio. That was uh, when we were uh, walking around the uh, the gay part of, uh, of oh, the wonderful. Adult Expo. And... Uh, um, there was a guy. Looked like he was like in his probably forty years old, but he was dressed in like leather straps and a thong. So we walked up to him oh. to find out what he was all about. <laughs> God, <laughs> truly awful. Yeah, it was he really was truly awful. Big furry guy. So we had Jimmy ask him a few questions. So what's your name? My name is Sergio Rio, and uh, you're with Old Man Studios. Old Man Studios. Yeah, I have done two movies for them. Let me ask you a question honestly. Would his shirt go well in one of your films? Maybe a four scene. <laughs> After everything have to come off, so. <laughs> but it's not bad. It's cool. It's cool. I used to have a motorcycle, so this would go work. Good. The people tell him that those shirts look like they would be perfect in the gay community, and he doesn't believe it, and he wears them anyway. And I'm going to knock on the shirts. They're nice shirts. But do you think that those shirts would be popular in the gay community? Not in the gay community. That, well, for young guys in the gay community, possibly, yeah, yeah. Could be cold, but in general, no. <laughs> uh, I, I won that one. I uh, know you didn't. He's saying that older gay men would find them tacky, but younger gay guys would probably think they're cool and hip. You know, Thank you very much. The gay community is very, very big, and so it's very, you know, diversified. So there is space for everything. So there is a section that probably would like that. Now, what would he be considered in the gay community? Like, what would he be considered as far as, you know, everybody has a name. Like, what would he be considered? Well, he would be, he would do very well in the leather community because um, it's mainly about big guys, hairy guys, and uh, he would be considered a bear. And, and, you know, he would be big on that. <laughs> now, who would be attracted to bears? Bears. You, bears usually are attracted to bears. Now, what are cubs? We've heard that name, cubs. Um, it's possible, but he's kind of a too sweet face for a cub, so... <laughs> so his, his too sweet face is perfect for a bear, but not a cub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bear would be more cozy, <laughs> more appropriate for him. Do you yeah. think he's cozy? Well, his face, his very friendly face, yeah, his expression is very friendly, so... What's your name? What I call cozy. My name is Sergio Real. Sergio Real. <laughs> Oh my God! Is that funny? A bear. I just like the fact that he called Steve cozy. Steve, cozy. Steve is cozy. <laughs> Steve's I, cozy. I, I that I, whole I, bear thing. A couple uh, of big hairy guys just hugging. Just awful. <laughs> Two big bears. <laughs> the whole time we're doing this, Jim is just giggling like a schoolgirl. <laughs> of course. Oh, it was. Putting cock in their mouth like salmon jumping out of a stream. <laughs> arr, arr, arr. <laughs> pulling them out of flies with their big claws. Arr. Oh, big bear. Harry. Steve Steve Cozy from FoundryMusic.com. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Oh. Uh, truly awful. Hello, I'm Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> 
I'm not gay. I'm just cozy. <laughs> Put some honey on that cock, Tigger. <laughs> oh. Right. oh, that is great. A big bear. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> Awful. All right. Well, we're going to step aside and regroup. My goodness. We did this already. And Steve, while you're in here, yeah. what's up with you and your imaginary friend, uh, Ramon? He's not my imaginary friend. He's just the... Did you make him up? Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> He's yours. <laughs> He's my creation. I, I'll, I'll certainly take credit for that. But um, Ramon oh, is the byproduct of something I learned when I was uh, working at, at NEW. They told me that the, the a lot of the deep voice guys that do voiceover for movies and for uh, <laughs> oh for TV. God. Check this out. Listen, this is no. This I know, here's the explanation. This is exactly right, where it came from. They do a lot of their voiceover work from home on, in a home studio on ISDN lines. So a lot of them are just traipsing around home in their bathrobes or sweatpants, uh, making millions of dollars, mind you, you know, doing voice work. So and you believe there's some guy walking around and his houseboy and is there. And he has a houseboy. And as he's doing these voiceovers, sometimes things happen and he's got to go, Ramon. Exactly. Clean <laughs> so you, wow. you feel like you're one of these big voice guys and you need a little houseboy. Oh, no, no, no. That's why I pitch my voice down, because I, I have to make it sound like it's not me. So, right. So, right. yeah, exactly. So, so not me. only does he have an imaginary friend named Ramon, he has an imaginary him. Oh, this is not going Did well. Did you just call from Jersey two minutes ago? <laughs> what are you Dude, you think way too much into this. No, <laughs> no this is how you be... You what, s- I right, sit what, in a room with, with no windows, mind you, for hours on end, so what's sometimes the, you're... Yeah. What's the profile of Ramon? What kind of person is he? Well, that's interesting. Is he short... Because I brought this up with with uh, Nathaniel and Danny yesterday, and they each have a different visual uh, a different visualization for what Ramon looks like. Really? All right, get those guys in here. Look at them all excited. <laughs> they get airtime. All right. So what? Uh, you know, so I think Danny said it might. Yeah, Danny said I think he looked something like Ricky, the uh, the other intern. But then Nathaniel had a totally different look for uh, for what Ramon might have looked like. And for all I know, everybody's got Danny, something do you think I it's... believe he looks like the cover of Rent Boys. <laughs> Danny, do you think it's a little weird that <laughs> Steve has an imaginary friend named Ramon? Uh, it's a little strange. And what do you think strange. Ramon uh, looks like? Uh, to me, he looks something like Hervé Villachez if he was normal-sized. Oh, okay. But with the Ricky mustache. Nathaniel? Do you think it's weird that he has an imaginary friend? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like Steve. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> yeah, it's not about liking him. Um, Do you know that we smash the people we really like on this show? Yeah. Well, I think he does have a whole persona worked out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sort I of. I think a, Steve's given a lot of thought to this. Yeah. Damn I me. mean, he hasn't stuck his hand in a sock and started talking to it. It's probably <laughs> good, but it could be soon. No, 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 that's not happening. But uh, you do have to. Is Ramon with you right now? <laughs> no, Ramon is not in the room. Can you channel Ramon? <laughs> no, because you'll never hear from Ramon. You'll only hear Ramon uh, being oh. referenced. Oh. You do hear from Ramon, Steve's not here right now, Mrs. Torrance. <laughs> <laughs> Ramon is the little boy who lives in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> is Ramon your Jenny Piccolo? It's Ramon. a friend that we'll just never see. It was Jenny um, Piccolo, right, from Happy Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ramon will, yeah, well, kind of. Ramon will never be referenced in the first person. You'll never hear, like, uh-huh. you know, a little voice pop up and go, yes, sir. You'll never hear that. You will only hear Ramon being referenced uh, as, like, like he's being addressed or in the, or in the third person. His name, do you want him to talk, but, you know, he's yeah. not as supposed to? No, it's been... <laughs> <laughs> You like ice cream, Ramon? <laughs> do you want to secretly be Ramon? Oh, no, no, no. Ramon's a houseboy. Yeah, but Ramon's a house. You don't you don't aspire thinking, to be think, Ramon. I'm, I'm thinking no. you might want to be a houseboy. No, kind of like I, where someone tells you what to do. I bet you in his re- mind, Ramon is probably five ten, very svelte, smooth abs, <laughs> unclipped, hung ten, <laughs> fat, doesn't speak English, willing to do anything for a buck. Is that who Ramon is? Ramon. Do we have an example of Ramon? <laughs> Does Derek have a promo he could play featuring Ramon? Yeah, yeah he'll he'll yeah. find it. Here, in Here's how many Ramones? Uh, how oh. many Ramon promos are there? Honestly, there was only. There's. I just did the second one yesterday, but I, I'm I'm thinking there could be a series of Ramon. <laughs> of course, there will be. When do you think maybe we should take Ramon to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, if Derek's ready, let's hear the Ramon promo, Anthony. All right. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony. Ooh, it's in my shoes. Ramon, clean this up. 
It's a little weird, Steve. <laughs> of course it is. Now your houseboy's got to clean the crap out of your shoes. <laughs> Do you pay them yeah. well at least? Uh, no, houseboys generally don't get paid well. He's not making a lot of money. No, I mean, you, you know, do, let's say maybe he's Guatemalan. Maybe he's you know uneducated. You, you know, do right. great production for the radio show, but I gotta tell you, it's a little weird. The Ramon yeah. thing. Did you buy him uh, after his, his mother was killed in the tsunami because of child slavery? <laughs> Did a tree go through his mom's head? No, actually, he, he is from Central America, I believe. Oh, Central America. <laughs> well, no, I mean, let's, let's, the tsunami hit around the Philippines, so, you know, you're certainly not going to um, you're not gonna find any Ramones out there. Is Ramones' last name uh, Robinson, by any chance? <laughs> hey, good reference there. Very good. Yeah. But no. I didn't have to dress up. That's very good. Oh. <laughs> That's the fun of it, though. All right, listen. Uh, let's uh, listen to the second Ramon promo. This is uh, we debuted this uh, earlier this morning. I just love a drive in the country, laughing with <laughs> Opie and Anthony. That plane is flying awfully low, don't you think, Ramon? <laughs> Call nine one one. Now the Ramon promos are that much better and funnier. Because <laughs> now every time I hear this on the replay, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna drive off the road. Ramon, <laughs> call it sounded like you almost said clean this up, but you were call nine one one. I was trying to enunciate it in the same fashion. Call nine one one. Now, Steve, yeah. why wouldn't why? you call nine one one? Yeah. Why because does he, why, why does Ramon have to do everything for you? Because well, it's not it's it's also it's not me, but Ramon is 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 a, is, is a houseboy assigned to the menial tasks that this deep voice guy does but, not feel that wait, he's. I have a problem. <laughs> what you're taking a leisurely drive in the country? Why is Ramon with you? Yeah. Be, see, there's a menial task that has to be uh, that has to be that has to be uh, yeah, taken care of. Yeah, roadhead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your mule is dirty; needs to be cleaned. <laughs> Ramon, lap this up. You go, perfect example. You go to a self-serve gas station. Do you think this guy, this this wealthy uh, voiceover artist, is going to be uh, Ramon? A, top off my tank. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. You're, right. Couple, you're a couple weeks away from coming in here with a scarf. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking that this guy has, you know, almost the Hef outfit, like a, like a, a um, not a leisure suit. What's it called? Uh, an ascot and a smoking jacket. Thank you. Now, how does and Ramon feel? Is Ramon uh, doesn't matter how angry Ramon feels. at the guy? Ramon could be angry. He might be bitter. <laughs> He might be bitter. He's crazy, yeah. by the way. <laughs> crazy Steve. You have yeah. thought about this way too yeah. long. There's yeah. a profile on your imaginary friend Ramon. Yeah. yeah um, Behind his back, does he like? Are no. you no. Oh. or the, or or the person that you're voicing in these spots? Yeah. That's not Ramon, obviously. Is he married? Um, no, no. Actually, you know what? You know, now now that I think of it, there are two two, two of the little cartoons on 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 the website are are pretty representative of what this deep voice guy and Ramon might look like like like. And Ramon is I suck. Uh, Ramon is a very short or potentially a very short uh, pygmy. I don't want to alter it too much. Wow. Because yeah, because I don't, I don't want to alter it. Let everyone, people imagine yeah, their own exactly. Ramon. Ramon should be, you know, he, you should, know should, everyone should have their own Ramon. Should you know? people start sending in uh, maybe drawings and cartoons of what they think you and Ramon are? I think I think that's a great idea. Oh. Are like and look like? Because there's there some go. talented artists out Has there. Has Ramon ever stood there and just thrown firecrackers while other people were preparing to rob the house? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you got that? that? Yeah. Um, trying to remember the name though. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, was it Boogie Nights? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I knew. I knew the scene. I didn't remember the movie. Uh, Boogie yeah, Nights. He's right. He's right. Yeah. 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 Ramon. Yeah. That is a typical Ramon. Yeah. 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 The guy throwing the firecrackers around the house. All right. Well, yeah, that's a Ramon. Ramon takes care of the menial tasks that you can't be bothered with because you know you're off making the money and you can pay somebody, you know, pff, you know, three bucks an hour. To go and clean up diarrhea. Really, well, for a casual yeah. thing, you have his salary already worked out. Yeah. yeah how well, much does he make? Uh, does he live for free in like the uh, well in the, uh, the, the what do they call it that other house the, servants' quarters servants you know, the no, pool house like the, the pool house pool or something. House. Um, yeah, he could potentially. He could potentially. You know, you got to remember, he's you know he m maybe doesn't have a great grasp of the English language. Uh -huh. Um, you know, he's from Central America. Um, you know, and, uneducated, and so no grasp of U.S. law. As well, I didn't Give say he was. I didn't say he was underage. I didn't oh, say he was. Oh no, no! I no, didn't say he was. We weren't saying that. Give the Photoshop people oh, some uh, some work on whack bag. Oh, Photoshop people. It's not Steve, so you know I don't think you have to 
Photoshop Steve in. It's a deep voice guy with an with a a uh, little helper named Ramon. Sure. Jesus. Yeah. No, that's. Danny. You got like a guy with a pith helmet, yeah. like an old, uh, oh, yeah, exactly. an old adventurer. Yeah. With the optic thing. Yeah, he's got a monocle. monocle, oh, monocle. And like a Thank pith you. helmet and binoculars. Mm -hmm. His name and, is actually Colonel Wetpants. But, yeah, uh, a Colonel with like the. Uh, with, like, the little handlebar mustache thing going, like, well, there I was. Yeah, exactly. In Africa, elephant hunting, yes. when all of a sudden, Ramon came over. And then Ramon is a black guy. And he's a pygmy with a bone through his nose and in his hair. With a big afro and, and like, bracelets of bone. Almost like a, a shorter LeVar Burton type. So Ramon's not black. No, I don't see Ramon as being black. No, I mean, but that's you know. I see Ramon as I was, I was kind yeah, of Central American, maybe, yeah, yes. maybe, yeah. maybe even Mexican. Hairless. I see Ramon as hairless. See, you know, there's and now, now, now we got a completely different representation of Ramon. Than you see Danny. a very hairy Ramon. Um, of course you do, Steve. Do you really? A mini, no, a mini bear. No, I, I, <laughs> all Ramon can say in English is sweet and cozy. Cozy <laughs> face. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you, Steve. We just sure. Anthony and I just noticed this whole Ramon thing that was kind of taking on a a life of its own, and yeah. uh, and we had to kind of. I thought you guys liked the Ramon things. We do. Oh, okay. And All now right. they're even better. Now that we yeah. have the backstory, Are you kidding me? Of course. Oh, okay. Cool. Who's not going to be paying attention to the Ramon promos? And everyone's going to be looking forward to the next one in the series. Okie dokie, uh, Ramon. We're the only radio show that uh, discusses. Show promos. I know. The ins and outs of the show promos. Well, we got a lunatic making them. <laughs> There's imaginary friends. Dude, we're all, and I mean myself, obviously, we're all psychotic around Bunch here. Bunch of lunatics. We've got some problems in this room. Uh, rounding out the list in People Magazine, top films of 2004, Anthony, The Incredibles. Which I haven't seen yet. Oh, I need, my God, it's I great. need the Steve C. Uh, pirated, uh, burnt uh, movie. <laughs> it's a you know how Steve does that. Burns all those movies that are still in the theater <laughs> and hands oh, them out. And he sells them, too. That's right. Good idea. He sells them on the street. Yeah, right, right around Penn Station. There's Steve and his flameware. I can never uh. seem to find those sites that download that. But Steve, he knows them all. Oh, yeah. Dude, he gets on that computer. Before you know it, oh, every movie company's movies are coming down the pipe. A, I haven't seen a movie in a movie theater in years, thanks no. to Steve. And if you want to get the sites, what's his email address? Um, oh. Steve at FoundryMusic.com? Yes, yeah, Steve at FoundryMusic.com. And in the subject heading the code word is hey faggot <laughs> nice shirt faggot steve thanks for my copy of the incredibles i've been, i don't know what you're I've talking enjoyed about it many many times in the privacy I of my own home i would say no idea and usually it's when you get these, how quickly you get movies and usually when you get these bootleg movies it's it's some idiot that uh, snuck a you know a camcorder into the theater but that's so old surprisingly school. yours is just amazing it's I crystal clear i have that's no idea <laughs> Back what in the old days, about. Steve would have had to been in the movie theater with a, a small uh, camcorder uh, videotaping the movie. Now, with the new technology, Steve knows where to find these digitally online, <laughs> right. download them, burn them to disc, and before you know it, you're in the comfort of your own home watching The Incredibles. And, you know, there's just a pesky little thing that comes across the screen every 15 minutes that says, please do not duplicate or something oh, like if that. If you're watching but besides this that, and if you're not authorized, call this number <laughs> yeah, and rat out but Steve. That only goes if by you've for got a copy, I'd love to see it. I've, <laughs> but that only goes I've, by I've this every goes on. once in a while for maybe two seconds. It's right. really it's not, not that, that distracting, distracting at all. Considering you're watching The Incredibles at your house. <laughs> Isn't that funny? He wears flaming clothes and he burns things to disc all the time. <laughs> I, I've heard Isn't this that... goes on. I mean, I oh, see I see them yeah. being sold on the street on 42nd Street. But Right, right. You know, if uh, you've got them, I'd love to. Bowling love for them. Columbine? Steve gave me bowling for Columbine when that oh, was out on two discs. I, I, I've heard that that hit the street early. Wow. I don't know anything about what you're talking and about. And the village? Thank you, Steve. That, normally that was charges. wonderful. Steve sending out flaming bootlegs. <laughs> I'll be running. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the uh, oh, Ocean's Twelve. You have that one already, dude. How'd you I, I've heard <laughs> still in that theaters. That thing is making the rounds. Ocean's I certainly 12. wouldn't know where you'd get this. Steve's actually got Ocean's Thirteen out already. <laughs> it's amazing and, how quickly. And, and he doesn't pay his taxes. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he gets free cable. <laughs> I've he heard stuff like Sid this. Sid Rosenberg happen. of our show. <laughs> there you have it. Oh, so, uh. Your clothes. Steve is a dope. <laughs> Grossly incompetent, gay, and, um, stupid. I can't figure out how I still work here.